We are live. See, it says right there on the screen, we're live. Yeah. You're live. <laughs> also, pulse. Anyway, we are here talking today about how my hair can go in so many different directions at one time. Actually, no, we're not. We are talking about, what are we talking about today? 88 films. 88 films. But there's not 88 of them. No, there's, there's only not. 42. <clears throat> and it, 80 Films is a company in the UK. You're familiar with 80 Films. You've seen some 80 Films collection. Yes. When I was in London, <clears throat> And a uh, kind of a dream trip. I actually went to FOP a lot and I went to HMV. Uh, HMV that I went to actually, I think it's closed down now. Hey, Javid, welcome. Hello. Hey, B Movie. So we are talking eight films. I'm going to go, should we dive right into it today? I guess, yeah. Should we dive? Are you ready? guys ready? Do you want to dive in eight, eight films? That'd be so nice. I love eight, eight films so much. Hey, Greg. Hey, I, I B. I'm going to get stuff up here. Are you, are you putting it up on yours? Okay, you put it yeah, up on yours. So. That way. If I get like a. Hey, Ricky. Hello. So we're talking 88 films and they're a company from the UK. They do a lot of, and they kind of specialize in different things. They've got like a slasher collection. They've got like a, uh, an, an Italian collection. They have like an Asia collection as well, which I don't have any of. They did do Night Train actually. Did my son see Saucy Pizza Girls? I don't think my son's into the adult films, are you? <laughs> I was not going to tell me. He's not going to tell me if he is. <clears throat> All right. So here we go with the start i'll start i've only got like three in the dvds and everything else is blu-ray mm -hmm. oh terror train with jamie Lee curtis great film i got the screen factor edition if it had more features i think about it because i love that film this one freaked me out when i was a kid jamie Lee curtis was in terror train she starved it is she yes and david copperfield the magician not the not the charles dickens character yeah I in case you got him confused actually a friend of mine uh, I work was like, you know, David Copperfield, he, he can't be like 50 years old. David Copperfield, I said, David Copperfield can't be like so many hundred years old. David Copperfield is a magician. I'm like, but the book is like, oh, there's a book. <clears throat> I, you learn something new every day. That's it. 11 Days, 11 Nights has a great 80 films release. I haven't seen that one. Scorpion did do a new transfer of uh, Terror Train, Ragman. I can't get it just for a new transfer though. I, I'd have to, they'd have to like sweeten the deal a bit. All right, so this is A Blade in the Dark. This is by Lumberto Bava. Have you seen this one before? No. So Lumberto Bava is the son of Mario Bava, probably one of the most famous Italian directors. Kind of. uh, and he made Demons, which I think you did see. I probably, yeah, I think so. So this is a Jello, and uh, it's a pretty cool one. Uh, there's some, actually some features on here as well. Um, 88 Films, like in the early days of Arrow Video, and we will get to Arrow Video uh, sometime soon, uh, there was a there was a guy who used to work, work on Arrow Video a lot, and it was a guy by the name of Callum Waddle. Now Callum Waddle did like he did write ups and stuff for Arrow. He used to do like some features and stuff for them, and <clears throat> somewhere along the way there was kind of a falling out, and Callum went wa walked away from Arrow Video, and uh, he uh, he ended up coming on 80 Films, and like doing stuff for them. I think he still holds a grudge though. Uh, this, yes, anything that you see here, uh, most like pretty much almost everything here that you're going to see is also available in uh, in 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 Blu-ray as well. There's another one, isn't there? There should. Did when you're looking at this, are there any DVDs right there? Oh, there are right there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, a Blade in the Dark, fun little Jallo. I liked it. Uh, as far as cast wise, um, Mikael Suave's in it. Uh, I guess I got his name right. Uh, he's the one that that directed a uh, well, he acted in Demons, but he directed one of my favorite like like kind of Jallo slasher hybrids of all time called Stage Fright. It's the one with the owl mask. Did you see that one? I'm not sure. If not, I have to show you that one. A town soundtrack. Yeah, this one here has. Yep, watch in English or Italian language with subtitles, so you're good either way. Hey, Rich. Oh yeah, so I've, a lot of the Italian directors would work on each other's projects. <coughs> so, like Michael Suave is in like he's in like this one here. He's the guy that gives out the ticket in Demons. He's wearing like the silver like half mask. He's uh, I'll give it to you. I keep taking it. <laughs> you keep going to take it. Uh, he's in like uh, what's the one? Uh, Crazy the motorcycle. Uh, God, I love the movie too. I can't remember the name, but no. Next one. Next one up is. Oh yeah, uh, he's acting. He's acting a few, and, and I think it was too because he was a younger kind of like he was a good-looking dude. Uh, 
These are all in Morocco, actually. Zombie Holocaust. I'm not a huge zombie fan. I, I'm, actually, I'm not. Really? No, I'm not zombie. Like, I'm not a cannibal fan. Like, the cannibal. I love zombies. I'm not counting on the cannibals that much. So, but this does have a, a this one, yeah, it's a documentary on cannibal movies. So even though I don't like cannibal movies very much, uh, I love documentaries. Yeah, and I do. I, that's one thing we have in common. I love documentaries. Yeah, doc, and, and so this has a full length documentary on cannibal movies. Really? Yeah, we that's can watch really that. Cool. We should come, we should watch that. Definitely watch that. Zombie Holocaust, uh, otherwise known as Doctor Butcher, MD. Very different title, but, but actually very true. Cemetery Man is a great film. Uh, Cemetery Man star that is directed by him, and it's and stars uh, Rupert Everett, who will go on to be famous for my, my best friend's wedding and films like that. Mm. Ready for another Jallo? You guys that like Jallos are gonna like like some of the stuff. So this has a very unique cover. It's a strange one. Well, maybe I'm not sure if that's a. This is Spasmo. Look at where the cover is. That is a pretty. What's your favorite? Oh, your favorite type of music? Your K-pop, favorite right? Type and 80s you like 80s too yeah like i mean i'm kind of like all over the place you like pop a lot though yeah i'll just anything <coughs> it's not metal that includes country i like some country what's some must have 80 film releases that aren't on other labels in the vinegar center I'm, well i'm going to mention some here uh i'm not sure i'm going to try and remember which ones aren't aren't on vinegar, vinegar syndrome uh i know i think spasmos but it was, was put out by severin as well uh but i uh, actually really like uh, spasmo it's kind of an odd kind of unique one no, we'll go through our, uh, our the the red case, the blue cases first, then we'll go through the red, the yes. yellow one. So, got all the primary colors. <laughs> originally, eighty films. One of the things that they hooked onto right away was they hooked onto trauma. Did a lot of trauma and full moon stuff. So this here is the Toxic Avenger. This one is a special. One. This isn't. It's an HMV exclusive uh, from London. Uh, when you open it up, it's got a green case. Ooh. Pretty cool. Because it's, uh, and it also has inside of it a little mini oh, that's cute. Toxic Avenger poster. <laughs> now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I got this in England. And when I bought it, I also bought <laughs> Toxic Avenger 2 with its slip cover. I was so excited. I got it, I, and Mimi was there. Actually, I'm not sure if you were you there for that one. I was opening them all up from London, okay. and I was opening them up, and I'm like, I'm looking at the features, and I take it at the camera. I'm like, wow, this has the same feet. Number two, hey, Corey, welcome, man. Um, check out Corey's stuff. He's really got some good music. Uh, so I'm like, those Toxic Avenger 2 has the same features as Toxic Avenger 1. And then Mimi started laughing. And it turned out that although the Toxic Avenger 2 slipcover was there, inside of it was Toxic Avenger 1. Oh, so yeah. Ended up with two copies. Remember that now, do you? Yeah, yeah. Two copies of Toxic Avenger 1, unfortunately. I don't know where it, what I probably gave you guys. <laughs> uh, but, like, this, I love this cover. This is an amazing cover. That is a really cool cover. So, and I do like the Toxic Avenger. And you're right, Toxic Avenger, I heard, is being rebooted. So, as far as I know, yeah. This is a really good one. If maybe sure that one not Castle Freak, Stuart Gordon. This is a good movie, by the way, guys. This one is. This is another film that's actually being redone, being rebooted by Barbara Crampton's company that did uh, Puppet Master: Little Strike. Really. So this is also. This has Jeffrey Coombs from Reanimator. Hey, Danuch, welcome, man. <coughs> and it's a great film. This is a, and like features on this one. Like I've seen. A North American release of this one, but it wasn't as good. Uh, like the feature, look at the features. Like this, look. That's a lot of features. Well, I'm like, it even has like this. They had like these short films that we're gonna make to do like kind of like a uh, an anthology that Full Moon never put out, and one of them was called The Evil Clergyman, with Jeffrey Coombs, and that's on here. The actual sh the entire short film. Oh, cool. Gotta check my. Oh look, it's a Scotia Bank alert. My service has been locked due to unusual activities, so I must follow these instructions and totally like go onto that website and give them my Scotiabank information. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna do that 
right now. We have a question. Wait, Alan man. asks, do the both of us like stop motion animation? I am a huge stop motion animation person. I have the Harry Hesen. I get all the Harry Hesen stuff. I also like stop motion animation. You almost Remember? went to see Harry Hesen. Uh, the first one first, I guess. Or give me all three of those. <clears throat> Do you remember when I was, uh... Did I, like... 12, and I tried to make that stop-motion animation film with, like, the, the, like, the sings? You may not know this, but you know that I went to, I, I went to film class in grade 7, and one of the things that we had to do was make a stop-motion animation film, I and I did. I the same thing <clears throat> in our class in school. It was super fun. It was fun. Do I like Morph? I'm not sure what you mean by Morph. You mean the character from, like, X-Men? He was pretty good. <laughs> well, British kids shows that's the great stop motion. I love the British show, so I like. Recently, I saw on Japanese TV a show. You can, <laughs> you can continue. It's just it was a British show, and it was like claymation. I think no, it was a special type. It was like, oh, you probably know what it is. It was this like special type of like animation. And it was like this British detective and like the thing, he had like a priest friend that was just a comedian. And the, he, he had this like shrink ray and could shrink. The, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, please put it in the comments. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called, but it's like he could shrink him. And it was done in like... Not yet, Jacob. Special. It was from like the 60s. Someone knows what this is. It, Someone definitely knows what this is. Is it like, is not one of those like t pop it ones, is it? No. <laughs> so it was probably set motion though. No, it, it wasn't. It was like a special for it. Oh yeah, they actually are the pup. For one's one's right actually. The pup master scans for these are better than the than the full moon Blu-ray pup master scans. Uh, they did up to five as far as I know so far. Okay. So this is the first one, and I love the covers on these. They're really good. Great covers, uh, and this does include. In case you're wondering, yes, the uh, it has like features on here as well. You get like interviews, uh, audio commentaries, and you. I'm not sure if you get the. The original like video zone or not, but I, I kind of think you might. Hey, Brian, welcome. Hello. And I also have Pup Master Two, which is my favorite. They did do a Pup Master one with Corey Feldman. It was actually done for like the for the Sci Fi Channel, and it was meant to spin off a TV series around the time that like Charles Manda lost the rights to Pup Master. Uh, luckily, that didn't happen uh, because it's mostly a clip film, really. Uh, I think Vanessa Angel from uh, the TV version of. Uh, of some weird sciences in it as well. I'm just a weird, like, like weird, like, you can no, just, found you, knowledge. You can, you can end that sentence that I'm just weird. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> 80 films region free. It's a really good question, actually. And yes, these ones here, these Pup Master films that, you, that I'm showing you guys right now, they are region free. So if there's one in particular that you're interested in, uh, that is a Sonic. Good call. That is a Sonic ring sound that, uh, that Wes has on his phone. Yes, that is. <laughs> good call. Um, Pup Master 3, this is like, this is a really fun one too. But it was kind of like, it's kind of a double-edged sword with Pup Master 3 because it's a really good film, but it also introduces a Nazi aspect, which really would later on drag the Pup Master films down. Yeah. Like, incredibly. Yeah. <clears throat> we got another full moon with that one, don't we? Um, yeah, we do. That was full moon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any questions? So you can ask. Transfers. I love the Transfers films. Uh, part 3 is my favorite, but this one actually, w when I originally saw this one, I was my least favorite of the Transfers films. I love these covers. 80 films get great covers, I gotta That's say. Great covers. The cover art on these are fantastic. Uh, and you know, so, and again, this one here, this Transfers one, I'll check on it for you guys. I don't know if this one's region free or not. I see your question, just give it a minute. <laughs> this one doesn't say region free, so I'm not quite sure. That one is the region free. Is this one? Uh, yeah, because I think I just read the back of it and said it was region free. Reach any VCs. No, but this one here. Yeah, that one. I'm pretty sure I just read the back of it. What does it say? I can't see it. Let me see. I'm getting old. <laughs> Re oh, region B. Region B. So this one's region locked. So transfers, guys, is region locked. They do have a transfers like box set like uh, of all the films out on DVD, which anybody can make a DVD region free. You have two questions to answer. Dad, okay. how many kids do you have? Two that I know for now. I have two. Uh, I, have a, I have a son and a daughter. It's my son, my daughter's actually in Halifax. 
Um, and then there's another question up. I will see the new Sonic movie. I don't know if I'll see it in theaters, but I'm definitely going to see it. Also, someone asked if I play computer games. I do. Oh, I play a lot of games. Yeah. What was that game we used to play where you'd have the, like it was on a computer, you'd try to, everybody's in a village and like you'd try to find out who the killer was. And... Town of Salem. Oh, I used to love Town of Salem. I backed the Kickstarter for that, actually. Did it ever come through? Yeah, it became like a full a full thing. Really? Yeah. I used to love Town of Salem. I it got was, you in Town of Salem. Yeah, it, it was it's really good. But I play a lot of games. My, the most recent game... <laughs> Can I show this cover? Really I gotta be, so good. I still gotta be careful with this cover. So, <laughs> you can't show that whole cover. Like, you gotta, you gotta block parts of that. <laughs> Bloodsucking Freaks. I apologize. I have to censor part of this cover, but Bloodsucking Freaks, which is a trauma film, too. So we got into, we're in the trauma territory again. Mm -hmm. I love the black case that this one has. There is an alternate artwork on here as well, you know, I which is not like very black good. Case. I usually don't like black cases because I find like translucent black. I'm not a huge fan of, but this one's actually pretty nice. Yeah, and have you noticed that like the, the like they're thicker, like the uh, UK Blu-rays Blu as opposed to like the North American ones, which are done thinner. Really? I didn't yeah, know. I love the the thickness of them. Trauma Javid is a company uh, started by Lloyd Kaufman. And uh, the, uh, they're basically, they were the guys that really started to help like, get movies into a, like Trauma and Full Moon really did like uh, a lot of like uh, getting films into, like they were one distributing movies originally. Did you like two? I know three is kind of iffy, but did you like two? Go Ninja, go Ninja, go Ninja, go. <clears throat> the 90s? Toxic Avengers Trauma, yeah. Uh, Toxic Avengers Trauma, uh, Class of Newcomb High's Trauma. Uh, I got to meet Lloyd Kaufman, a uh, really nice guy. Your friend's in Terra Firma, really? Uh, did I, have I met your friend? Was, did, did he ever go around with like uh, the, uh, the trauma guys and any of the conventions? Because I met a few of them at the convention. Two questions for me. I do like Black Christmas, and I have not played the 90s PC game Black and White. Black Christmas is awesome. Black Christmas is good. <clears throat> Bloody Birthday. This is actually a really good film. This is one of the killer kid ones. I don't know oh. if sure. Oh, yeah, and not only that, but it's got some people that you wouldn't expect. So, like, uh, Susan Strathberg's in this one. Downtown Julie Brown. Uh, she was an MTV, like, uh, like a VJ. Mm -hmm. There's uh, also, I think, my, oh, what's his name again? Michael Dudikoff. Yeah, Michael Dudikoff plays a sheriff in this. Haven't seen Citizen Toxie? Actually, Citizen Toxie's pretty good. Uh, that's the fourth one, I think. I think. Because uh, there's... Which one's the last temptation of Toxie? Uh, the kid from Big? Really? Javid. Oh, I thought you gave me that. No, <laughs> what am I asking? Our trauma finished. No, no, trauma's still going. Trauma's like one of the, like, they're actually extremely popular. Trauma, what trauma did, which was really genius, was they would make films for like micro budgeted, low, low budget films, like Poultry Geist and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, and Tromeo and Juliet, which was made by James Gunn, went on to do like Guardians of the Galaxy uh, and the movie Slither. But Trauma, like, they would make movies and then they would take the money and they would invest them in buying copyrights of other films and they would then, then take those films and put them out under their label. Uh, so they put out stuff that was done originally by them and they put out stuff that by their companies as well. Like, mov like movies that are coming out now through like Vinegar Syndrome and stuff like that, like the There's Nothing Out There. Um, were, were originally, you know, trauma kind of rescued those films. They were kind of like Ling Lang Shang. Your favorite Marvel film? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I don't, I'm not super in on like... Yeah, trauma's fun, Javid. You should, you should check them out. They got some cool stuff. So this is, oh, okay, four. Give me all three, all, all of them there. It's got them all. Is it? There's four. Yeah. All right. So, third is Last Temptation. Thanks. Was Street Trash Trauma? Street Trash was one of the ones like that was bought by Trauma. Like they didn't originally, but they kind of they bought Street Trash and distributed it. Did huh. they make Oliver Stone's The Hand or did they just distribute it? Uh, Oliver Stone's The Hand. I, did they? I I don't know if they if they're attached to it. It was through distribution. Uh, they didn't make it. They did make Mother's Day, which which is a uh, probably more serious trauma film. Trauma tends to be kind of like lighter, and they kind of push the boundaries of good taste over the cliff. 
If I get one more of those scam things, I'm just gonna. Yeah, Wonder. I thought it was Warner Brothers. Street Trash. Street Trash is fun, but uh, they didn't do Street Trash either. Uh, they did a. Uh, they did com They put out Combat Shock, which actually is a really good film, uh, but a dark film. Mad Dog Morgan. They distributed that here in North America originally. Uh, the last horror show was also distributed by Trauma. Actually, I'll, I'll do a Trauma collection for you guys one of these days. <clears throat> American Ninja. This one actually has a feature like documentary on the whole American Ninja f films. Have I seen that? It's basically, it's like, he's a American Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. I don't have the Severn Combat Shock. I only have the, uh, tr the original Trauma one. So this is American Ninja 2, Blood Hunt. No, it's 3. Bloody hell, I got the wrong order. American Ninja 2, The Confrontation. This is the last horror show with Caroline Monroe? Yeah, Joe Spinell and Caroline Monroe. American Ninja 3, Blood Hunt. And American Ninja 4, oh look, it's both guys, The Annihilation. Because after part 2, Michael Dudikoff went and they brought in a new guy, um, David Bradley. And uh, David Bradley, my God, what am I saying? Yes, Dave Bradley. Brought in the guy from like freaking. Yeah, it is Dave Bradley. I was right. <clears throat> I gotta stop. Do I own Pray for Death? I don't own Pray for Death right now, but I gotta get. It. I'm a, I uh, I love those films, Shokazuji and stuff like that. Oh, actually, if it's American Ninja and your dad watched it, your dad's not a boomer Superman. He's a Gen Xer. People always get that mixed up. I'm Gen X. Um, boomer's like way older. You you'd have to be like in your. I'd have to be like my 60s or 70s to be a boomer and think I'm not. <laughs> I don't think your dad is either. Um, people always get that confused. You're Gen Z. Yeah, I am. Have you ever seen the last horror movie from Fangoria? Uh, I think I have actually, but I don't know. I don't think I own it. I don't think I own it. Boomer's up 64. Yeah. Gen X, or in other words, the coolest of the generations. Yeah. Huh? Creep Show 2, this is the edition that was put out by, uh, well, obviously by Adobe Films. There's also one done by Arrow. Oh, you're 80, your dad's 84? Wow. Good on your dad then, man. Unless he was born in 84. If he was born in 84, then he's definitely not. <laughs> um, but uh, I love the, the case and the cover, the different. The, the all sick one, that's, that one is called, uh, what's that one called again? No, the, the, the lake one. It's killing me. And it's my favorite one too. Now, Mimi likes the, uh, I'm not sure if he likes, she likes Chief Woodenhead or if she likes the, well, you know. Hey lady, how about a ride? Oh, thanks for the ride lady. Thanks for the ride lady. The raft, thank you, Danuch. Yeah. Jen J. Bean. Well, we were actually watching the creep show uh, TV series last night. We, we like, like it yeah. a lot. It tends to go like this: one, the, it's like every episode has two stories in it. Yeah. One story would be okay, and one story would be really good. It seems uh, like the first one is usually like kind of meh. It's kind of, yeah, I'm kind of mad, and the second one's really good. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've noticed so far, and it's been a running theme. Oh, the first one's like uh, I'm not sure. The first, one, I'm sure. Do we want to keep watching? Wasn't that one the the one that I really like? It was it was very reminiscent of Asian horror. Lydia. A woman of the year one, Lydia, yeah. Lydia something, Lydia Jane one of the year something, Lydia yeah. Lane one of the year. Yeah, something like that. It's it's really good. I, I love Twilight Zone. Yeah, I, I watch all Twilight Zone. Dude from Mindhunter is the Native American who shot them in the first story. I, yeah, I know. Isn't that freaky? The one with the long hair, right? Uh, Shutter comes. Uh, Shutter, uh, Ragman. If you want to watch the uh, the Creep Show TV series, it is exclusive to Shutter. And a shutter is only four ninety nine, and you can actually, if you buy one of the shutter uh, movies that are on at Walmart, you get a thirty day uh, like trial, or uh, you can go on shutter.com and you can actually get a seven day trial and try it like that. Someone Creepshow. asked a question we answered last night, which is what is my favorite horror film? Which and the complicated answer <laughs> that came from that is that I have two dolls. In there's a, there's two eras of my life now. <laughs> there's the old era and the new one. In the old era, it's dolls, and in the new one, it's Train to Busan. Yeah. 
I love this movie, by the way. And it's got the greatest name, Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Ballroom. I know it doesn't sound like it's going to be a very good movie. It actually is really fun. For a year, it's only 50. It's good. Jab, you guys hate dolls, man. It's a great movie. It's so good. It was, my, it's, it was like my favorite movie for years. It's a serious, like, I would say I probably watch it every year for like six years, at least once a year. <laughs> You're right, Jay. This has Lenny Quigley, Michelle Bauer, and Brink Stevens. Those are like three of the 90s Scream Queens. Oh, this is This was originally called The Imp, and uh, there is actually a kind of a full length, uh, kind of two hour and 50 minute uh, documentary on here. So, pretty cool stuff. Four. Not yet. I got upstairs to watch actually, because I, I do like I even though I buy, uh, even though I have Shutter as a channel, I actually buy their films too when they go to Walmart fairly cheap, like twelve and fourteen bucks each. Really? Yeah. We're into the Italian collection now, guys. So ready for these? Yes. Dolls in the '80s. It's Stuart Gordon Javid. Then if you someone just mentioned '87, I think it came out in '87. Somebody. I like 80s horror a lot. 80s, still the best year in horror. I, yeah, it was definitely the best horror decade. Although, who knows, maybe the new one is going to be 2020. Ha have I seen Hagazusa? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, <laughs> the old Teen Mission Turtle cool. They did, uh, they did, it's not as good as <laughs> Returns, but they did like a, a TV series, like by the same people that did Power Rangers, Saban. Uh, called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation and they put in like a female um, character called Venus a t female oh, tur turtle the turtle the female turtle right. I actually have that series there somewhere really I do yeah live like a cop die like a man I love this movie uh, great cast uh, Ray Lovelock and Mark Pearl is in this and I I'm a huge fan of both these actors uh, they're like cops but they're like corrupt cops but they're, they've been hired to go after like criminals basically that are kind of like worse than them. Okay. Imagine if Starsky and Hutch were like really. <laughs> so I actually have a really good answer for the question. Do I read any comics? Yes and no. Um, I, I read more than I used to. I don't read any like traditional comics or anything. I'm more into the indie scene, which sounds really hipster. Because I'm <laughs> yes. Hipster. But I actually recently read this really good um, comic series. I got like a said collection of the whole thing. It's like a couple things. Um, it's called Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. Oh, you got that? Yeah, I got it. It's really good. It's actually, it's kind of like, it came out before Stranger Things, but it's got very Stranger Things vibes to it. I would really recommend it. And I don't want to spoil it for anything, but like... Just... I'm oh. in denial of one of the things at the end because we never. Oh. There's one thing that's not answered at the end, and I am like. Mm. Mm. Oh, it was a TV show. Teenage Ninja Turtles: The Next M M Mutation was a TV show. Four kids walk into a bank. <clears throat> Four kids walk into a bank. Really good. Oh, the the guy who does it. I follow him on Twitter. He's pretty cool too. I recommend this. This. Unlike four kids walking to bank, the, these are two. I thought that guy was John Schneider for a second. <laughs> uh, so it's like, he does have a John Schneider type looking there. But uh, basically, there's these two cops. They're ultra corrupt, and they're doing, but in a good way. They're using the corruption. Like, there's a scene where a guy is trying to convince this, uh, this girl to, like, kind of give up information because she's, like, this, like the, the daughter relate to, like, a mobster anyway. So he seduces her, right? So and well, the other guy keeps the like the her mother or something like that busy in the next room talking to her. But and you think, okay, well, he's got the information he needs type of thing. So he leaves the room, and he comes out, starts talking to the mother, and the other guy goes. <laughs> the room. I'm not sure it'd be how well it would go over today. <laughs> Someone asked for what movies. Matthew Rosenberg, that's his name. The guy who wrote Four Kids Walking to a Bank. He's really cool. Um, so in terms of what movies I'm excited to see in theaters this year, 
Uh, you can go I talk up because they can't hear you as much, friends. Right? I don't. I don't really go to theaters. <laughs> I don't like theaters. Um, but I really do kind of want to see. Um, Sonic. No, the sequel. Well, I do want to see Sonic, but I also want to see the sequel, Train to Busan. Is that a theater one? Yeah, it's, uh, it should be. Man from Deep Man from Deep River. Hey there, <laughs> hey Mr. Kalinsky. So this is a uh, one. This is probably the, one of the first uh, like cannibal films, but it's it's an action cannibal film. And uh, it's got a. I think this also is a documentary on it, but on, on an actress called Mamie Lay. Was in a lot of cannibal movies. Yeah, it's gonna <clears throat> come out this year. Yeah, it's coming out this year. Peninsula. Is that yeah, Peninsula. <clears throat> Amy, what Asian movie enthusiast? You he'll, he'll know it. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, this one I can show. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, someone asked if you saw the animated and live action Animal Farm movies. Animal act the act, live animated live action no and the animated one yeah <clears throat> it was from Mona's kid. Fact. I hated doing Animal Farm in school. Yeah, well, it's Orwell. It's, not, it's, it's pretty good. <clears throat> a man who won Last Cannibals. For a guy that doesn't like cannibal movies, I got a lot of these cannibal movies coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually is a good one. I got like, a, I like this one so much. No, actually, Deep River is tamer compared to a lot of the later cannibalism stuff. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so is this one. This one's actually tamer. That's probably why I like them more. Uh, a bit wimpy that way, uh, but uh, they're uh, no, they're they're more fun. <clears throat> like this one's got a lot of eroticism because it's a, it's an Emmanuel one, so yeah, I, I can't like Annie Cam ones like has like this is not a cannibal movie, just so it looks like it. It's not. Next one, everybody should own. Seven put this out. Eighty films put this out. <clears throat> I don't care which version you get. I just gotta say you gotta have it. This one is region locked, by the way. Uh, but it is out in North America under the Severn label. And this is Andre Bianchi's Burial Ground. Now, Andre Bianchi's Burial Ground is a uh, movie that it's a, uh, it's a zombie film. Okay. But it's not your typical zombie film. <laughs> oh, dude, you're so far ahead with, this, with that stuff. With the 80 films. <laughs> and have you guys seen this one? There's a scene... <clears throat> Where there's this girl and she's like, they're in, they're all like kind of locked in this this house from zombies because you know it's a zombie movie, and the girl's looking at the window, <laughs> and the zombies take this like this stick, and they go up, and they kind of stick up, and they kind of knock the window down on her. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that scene. There's also there's a guy in this one, uh, and it's it's supposed to be a kid, uh, but. It's like it's played by uh, oh, what's the correct term right now? Little people, right? Little, little, I think that's the correct yeah, term. Little people. Okay, so by a little person, uh, but he looks like a little Dario Argento. So he's like super kind of freaky, kind of creepy looking. Uh, and there's almost like a, there's a scene where the, like you suppose you're eleven or twelve, and the mother kind of like, kind of like sort of like puts him on her breast type of thing too. It's a really weird film, but it's insane in a good way. You won't, you gotta stop watching it. Oh, you love the cheesy 80s films. Yeah. <clears throat> have I'm you his. Seen, have, <laughs> you seen, have you seen all the Romero Dead films? Yeah. Uh, the later ones aren't so good, but uh, <clears throat> I would swear by the top three, for the first three. Day is my favorite. By the way, I was forced into loving cheesy 80s films <laughs> because <laughs> they did not stop playing for all of my time. And not just me, like. Like your your sister too. <clears throat> Zombie three. I've got a couple of editions of this one, but I needed this one for like a specific reason. You're a fan of Italian jellos. Yeah, right? I like jellos. Um, and Maybe this one. He's huge into jellos. Oh yeah. Well, I had Mimi grow up on jello. <laughs> so this is in Morocco because also, but I had a card with it, <clears throat> and it has a second disc. Called Pure, Pure, uh, Pura, but it's something like that, and uh, it's uh, basically uh, a documentary on Lucio Fulci, where people like usually give them, like a couple minutes to give their their thoughts and reflection on, on Lucio Fulci. So I need to have that. I love this. Just feel the slipcover. Seriously. Oh, I like that. That's smooth, huh? It is good, yeah. <clears throat> Someone 
asks. Reviews don't matter, man. If you've seen the movie, or if you like the movie, pay it forward. Uh, I, I guess. I mean, I don't remember it. Uh, if it's a drama one, I probably I've seen it, but it, like a lot of I think that's the one with the kid and, and like Kevin Spacey or something like that. That sounds wrong to say now, uh, but <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the kid Kevin Spacey. Oh no, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, uh, I I remember I think liked it back in the day. It kind of like flows into a lot of those movies that came back in that day. Horror films I remember really well. Uh, the Bloodstained Shadow. If you like Jello and oh, we'll talk to you later, shit man. Tango and Cash. Oh, T Tango and Cash is a really fun movie, and Terry Hatcher is super cute, so you'll enjoy that. Bloodstained Shadow, by the way, if you don't have this one, this actually uh, is from a is is a really really good Jello, uh, and it, it's it's light on the on kind of the 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 sleeve stuff, so if that bothers you too, that's the, it's okay, but it's still got a really good story. And if you have not seen Bloodstained Shadow, 110% recommend Bloodstained Shadow. Great movie. Um, done by Antonio Bito. And I only did one other Jello, as far as I remember, called Watch Me When I Kill, which I also have. And that is a really good one as well. But this one is a bit better. There, there's a nude scene on the back of it. That's literally the only nude scene in the film. <clears throat> okay. Are we getting into it? So we'll start at the f over there. At the back? Yeah. Okay. We are getting into... Slasher Classics Collection. I have a couple of Slasher Classics DVDs. <clears throat> That's Terry Hatcher, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, these are all red cases. Now, I heard that the new ones aren't red cases. Oh, I'm missing a ton of the Italian collection, oh, yeah. Greg. I don't have any of the Asia collection either, which I really got. You love the Asia collection. I'll show you. I'll go upstairs. So, but I got a few of the slasher classics, so I make up for it there. I'm a slasher person. Um, Me too, actually. Alice Sweet Alice. This is a another one of the slasher. Have you ever seen this one? It creeped me out back in the day. Uh, otherwise known as Communion. Otherwise known as like Holy Terror. I think the other, there's a third title. It's like one under three titles. Directed by Alfred Soule. Uh, it has a very early appearance by Brooke Shields. I, I, I do need to have Death on the Cat's Eye. So you get to see Brooke Shields, but she's absolutely like in it for like two minutes because she's the first. Uh, that's not a real spoiler. Brooke Shields is killed at the beginning of the film. So good film. Like it is an underrated film. Next up is a movie that has since been remade, actually. This was remade a few years back. <clears throat> this is an Australian film. Oh, yeah, you know Tartan. Tartan? Mimi's got a few Tartan relations. Oh. Like with the, the Whispering... One. Whispering Quarters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tartan was a company that became famous during J Horror and kind of like went down after J Horror stopped pop popularity. Tartan is extreme, yeah. They were good when they were around, man. Unhinged. So this is, uh, this again, this is one of the video nasties. Back now, you know what video nasties are, right? No. In England, there was a period of time when a lot of horror movies and slashers and stuff like that that were put on lists called video nasties and stores kind of carried them. Like they'd come in like well, like it was an adult film or something, and they'd go in and they'd take them off the shelf and sometimes arrest the storekeepers uh, if for having the films. Well, like they were banned? Yep, they were banned. Oh. <clears throat> so Unhinged was one of those. Pretty much pretty tame film, actually, although it just looks on the back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think this has alternate artwork, too, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll show you the alternate artwork, because I do like the alternate artwork for Unhinged. I'll show you just so you see it. So you want to see the alternate artwork? Is that cool or what? Oh, I like that, yeah. So this is the alternate artwork for Unhinged. Do you know what's insane when I really think about it? Is that I have to look, like, go, tread carefully, like, as I, like, not to show nudity on the, like, if nudity's on the back of one of these covers, I try to make sure, like, I don't put them there. But I could have somebody with their head being chopped off, and you can, like, show that, no problem. No, no issue with that. Yeah, it's... The We're a little messed up here in North America, guys. If you're over there in Europe, you guys get it right. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm going to put these back in like those things. Oh, I hate that too. I had to switch out a cover once and it was just all wonky. Oh. Uh, so like, these are all numbered, by the way. So, so if you're OCD, you're really going to... Now, I have the very first 88 films. 
Slasher Classics. I've definitely seen this one. Yeah. And this is Graduation Day. Now, Graduation Day was a cool little film. Uh, Patrick, I like that. Patrick McKenzie. Vanna White is actually in this one. And Alenia Quigley as well. Now, I think the girl that Lenia Quigley plays in the film was actually originally played by another actress, but they didn't like her. Uh, so she gets taken out of the film and Lenia Quigley comes in. Though you do see that other actress in like in the picture, when they show the picture of the whole team, she's on that, she's in the picture. Uh, so this is graduation, basically, it's a, it's a fun film. Uh, yeah, see, Ragman likes it too. Yeah, exactly. Show a blade going through a throat, but no smoking pot. Ooh. And what's really neat about this one is it has a full length documentary on Scream Queens. Ooh. So, a really cool documentary. So, you got documentaries to choose from. Uh, and the early ones, like they didn't do this in later ones, unfortunately, but the early 80 films have like uh, Twilight Time style booklets. And they were usually written. By a, a, with, if they weren't interviews, they're usually done by Callum Waddle. And I think even the interviews are usually done by Waddle. Yeah, because this one here, see? Callum Waddle. Mm. Class dismissed. Graduation Day is so much fun and such a weird, like different from the uh, from a lot of the slasher films. Hey, welcome, Indy. You got the very centuries, but you have the 80 films. Now you gotta get those. Oh. Sexy release. I have a button on my jacket with that face. I gave it to you. Really? Yeah, I did. Oh, mm. I got it. <clears throat> I almost lost everything, actually. What do I think of society? I love society. The shunting is real. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of society. I got the special edition of it. Mother's Day. This is the Trump one, by the way, guys. This is actually done by Lloyd Kaufman's brother. Uh, I think his name is Charles Kaufman. Yeah, Charles Kaufman. So Charlie Kaufman did this. This. Actually, you know this here, the that used to freak me out when I was a kid. What the that the head picture? Box? No, no, the mo the mother with the skeleton oh, really? face. Yeah, well, it's, it's weird, but uh, actually, it's a pretty good film. Love, hey, and ready, welcome, man. Me and Wes here again tonight. Uh, this one here has like a ton of features on it, a lot of trauma features, which didn't have a lot to do with the film, but they would just trauma put like a bunch of stuff on there. Uh, but this actually has some cool stuff here, some interviews. Um, what's really neat is the. If you've seen this movie, you know the don't give away the ending, but they're the ending. I I I should have seen it coming, but I didn't. Uh but yeah, there's like a big chakra in the ending of it. It starts off like it's gonna be kind of like a torturous rape revenge type film, but then goes in, into different territories. And it actually is a pretty good film. Have you seen this? Because Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of sticks. Yeah. Next up is number three. And that is Don't Go in the Woods Alone. This, this movie's insane. I love this movie. It ends, the ending song of this movie is done to the, to the tune of Teddy Bear Picnic. Don't go into the woods tonight or you'll probably get a thrill. Don't go into the woods tonight or you'll probably get killed. <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, so again, a really fun film. Uh, Enjoy the hell out of this one. Uh, you, one thing you learn when watching Don't Go in the Woods, the most, the best thing to stop uh, a rampaging, like, backwoods serial killer, do you remember what it is? No. It's a pointed stick. Um. Nothing. Guns, forget guns, forget samurai swords, forget knives, pointed sticks, they're the ultimate weapon. I, I mean, you can't go wrong. Man, a pointed stick? Are you serious? That's dangerous. We started as a society. As you've seen most of my collection, <laughs> not yet. We'll get there. <clears throat> but this is a fun one. You like this, right? Yeah. And it's cheesy and badness. It, yeah, it was weird, but yeah. Now the next one is one that was put up by Vinegar Syndrome as well. Uh, though I do recommend if you like this film, <clears throat> and you've got the Vinegar Syndrome edition, um, <laughs> I recommend you get this one as well, and because it usually goes for fairly inexpensively. And that is Splatter University. So this is Splatter University. Vinegar Syndrome put this out. They did a great job. Uh, great de like uh, features on it as well. And uh, a really great transfer. Why do I say get this one too? 
Well, if you are a fan of, of this film or Richard Haynes and, and like in general, he's the guy that directed the film. It has on it a bonus movie, Richard Haynes, a film that Richard Haynes did later on called What Really Frightens You. So you get two movies for the price of one. So say you've already got Spider University of the Vinegar Cinema, that's great. Keep that one, but also get this one as well for the extra features that are on here, including a, a bonus film called what, what Really what really frightens you. <clears throat> yeah, got to love bonus movies. So Andy, if you got the Vinegar Cinema, and I think you do, I'm pretty sure you do, grab this one. I actually talked about this one on an episode of Just the Disc, and if you're not listening to Just the Disc or Pure Cinema Podcast, you really, really should. What's a film that you and your son are really divided on? We'll get to it. <laughs> it's coming up. <laughs> Well, we're not really divided. I really wasn't a huge fan of it. <laughs> okay, this one was put up by Vinegar Cinema as well. Uh, I think it's pretty much the, the same, though. <clears throat> so either one of these is good. Things. Now, we both watch things. You, you had a, you, fun with things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Splatterhouse. This is okay. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, a lot of people were like really got excited when Splatterhouse was coming out. And I was like super excited when Splatterhouse was coming out as well. And then I realized, man, I, it's okay. Oh, let's find out if that one's region B. Uh, some 80 films are region B. Locked and some aren't. Uh, you're lucky, uh, Andy. Or you're not lucky because I'm, 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 I'm getting you, I'm convincing you to get a movie. But it is A, B, C. That one's not region locked. So anybody that wants to get like this Spider University to kind of, to go with the other one, it's not region locked. So if there's one you're, that you're curious about, by the way, guys, and you're wondering, say if you live in North America and you want, or, and you want to know if it's region locked or not, if I can look at the back and I'll tell you. <clears throat> so far we haven't found a lot, like even Splatterhouse here, which originally came out by, uh, by them and then later by Vinegar Syndrome, this is not region locked either. A lot of these here, some of these here have, have like alternate artwork, they just haven't shown it. <clears throat> which one? You imagine me love? Yeah. This one is really cool. And it is cool for like a, a, a special reason. So this one is called Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, which is a fun, cheesy little like kind of like Scream Queen film. It's got Lenny Quigley and I'm pretty sure it's got, yeah, it's got the, the works. You know, Connor, Gunnar Hansen was a really nice guy then as well. Dookie Flyswatter we mentioned last night. He's, he's in this one. And What's really cool about this is that Linnea Quigley, she's like a scream queen from back in the day. She, I'm, everybody watching this knows who Linnea Quigley is. Uh, but she, so she put out a horror workout video with like, it, it's, it's on here. The full Linnea Quigley horror workout video is the bonus feature on Hollywood Chains Hookers. Not only that, but aside from Hollywood Chains Hookers having a ton of features on it and, and not, excluding the, the work the, even without the workout uh video the workout video also has an audio commentary of its own really yeah so it's it's different and it's it's weird yeah but think of like jane fonda with zombies and stuff <clears throat> it's really fun uh and is it region free let's find out for you oh no you're gonna have to go region for this one <clears throat> you're gonna have to get this one's region two Yeah, if that's ABC on the back, that means it's region free. Your so your mother had the Jane Fonda one, but what she really wanted, what she really needed, was the Linnea Quigley's horror workout video. <clears throat> or you would have, you needed the horror, the horror workout video because. I think I've seen this one. You did Nelga Masker. That's what my what my original like kind of like vlogcast was called, a Buck Thirty Nine special. Right. <clears throat> So this is Nail Gun Massacre. Uh, you don't have to go to Texas to have a, you know, oh no, that's, that's, that's the thing for, for uh, pieces. Cheaper than a chainsaw, this one is. <clears> or <throat> if it has region zero. So this one here, like you don't need, this one is seven, put this one out too. It's pretty much the same. Uh, it has both the like, one three three and one seven eight ratio. Th it is hilarious. This is a fun film. Yeah. Uh, and I think, I'm pretty sure it changes who wants the killer to be halfway through the film. Because who the killer turns out does not at all play right for 
the rest of the film. Because you have this like kind of really tame, like uh, kind of like rape scene at the beginning of the film. Like you don't really oh, see yeah, it much. Yeah. Um, oh, you did. You watched it last night. Did you really? This is a fun film. And then the killer's going in like in a, in a what's it, like a morsel helmet. Mm. And it got like a, th a thick accent. And he's trying to like do quips like Freddy Krueger, but not as good. Okay, so. Synapse put it out. This one was put out, I think, by Scream Factory as well, and <clears throat> this is a uh, this is a favorite of mine, uh, and it was this is actually a remake of another film, and uh, that is Dead of Winter. So if you've seen this movie, it has Rodney McDowell and um, I think Mary Steenburgen. Is it Mary Steenburgen? Yeah, uh, great film. Yeah. Juan Rubes, a Canadian actor, is in this as well. <clears throat> um, what's really neat, so if you collect Arrow video, for instance, there's a movie called, an early film called My Name is Julie Ross. And if you've seen the movie, it's, it's kind of like a film noir mystery thriller back in the, in the 40s, I think, 30s, 40s, somewhere around there. Uh, so My Name is Julie Ross is the original, uh, Dead of Winter. Uh, so if you've ever seen that movie and you haven't seen De Dead of Winter, definitely check this out if you haven't seen my name is Julia Ross, and you're a fan of Dead of Winter, definitely check out My Name is Julia Ross. You got Scream Factory version. Someone asked if I ever take movies out of this, out of your house when I go back to where I live. <laughs> if I, you mean borrowing, no, I don't. I think Mimi sometimes does. Not often. Yeah. Um, but pretty much every time I come here, I give has got something that's like, oh, here, I've got a movie to give you. Like the Omen Collection this summer. Yeah, I've, you've got three right now. Yeah, the wrestling one, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was fun. <clears throat> it's going to be fun, yeah. <clears throat> you guys got to watch it together. Huh? Yeah, yeah well, I will, I'll, I'll make her watch it with me. All right, next up is an Uli Lummo film. And I don't know if have you have you seen this one. I don't think so. Oh, actually. we may I know have watched this one. I know you mean you quoted it at me once, but I don't. This is The Boogeyman. Uli Lamo did a few films so with starring Susanna Love. Uh, Veneer Sternum actually announced Olivia coming out uh, next month. And Olivia is like, a, is a, called, also known as Prozzi, and that was put out under 80 films under that label. You got a question there, I think? Yeah, if, uh, asking if I like playing games more or watching movies more. And I can't pick. I would, <laughs> I would say I play more games. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> If I have to choose to do one of those things, I'm probably going to pick play a game because I kind of like to be a little more involved sometimes. But I've watched a lot of movies recently and it's kind of like rekindled my love for watching movies. So I I can't pick. I will I like to do both. I'd probably honestly... I'd have a movie on in the background while I play games. <laughs> What's your favorite game? Oh my god, you can't ask me that. <laughs> In terms of all-time classics, Terraria. Classic. It's so good. Classic. Um, it's not exactly. I would say it's old. No, but like it's a it's a cl like you know a so, classic of my time. It's yeah. a classic. <laughs> I also really liked um, Call of Duty. Yeah, you're a sh shooter. I person. really liked it. I do love. I love. Do you like Rally. Yeah. I have it on Switch and PC. I have a farm with my friends. <laughs> Terraria is a classic. Put age like, of it. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like how Minecraft is like a classic. Playing Minecraft, this dude. Oh my god, we'd be mining for stuff. Okay. Dad's so we, bad. He's the, so bad. <laughs> we'd be mining for stuff, and we, then like the creepers and stuff would come around. These the, the creatures would come in. I'd yeah. be like, oh man, I can't. I don't, don't know how to get out of here. We got to get out of here. So he would take off and leave me. Stuck in the camera he, to get killed. He's just so bad at it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, see, if I could set up, we'd like stream something like that, stream a Minecraft thing of us. I would absolutely do that for <laughs> sure with you. The Boogeyman, guys. Check this one out. Uli Lomo, a uh, great film. So, uh, oh, great film. There's some great kills in this movie. Uh, it's, it's a weird film. Basically, the premise of this film is that there's. A, a young buying a brother and sister buying girl and their mother has a has a boyfriend and they're like they're sneak like watching the mother and their mother's boyfriend puts on like a, a stocking over his head and he's like doing like a 
I'm kind of kind of bondage, like bondage <laughs> like that. So he sees them and he ties the kid up, one of the kids to the bed. And anyway, he gets killed. But uh, his and they're like scarred for it for a long time. And they go to the house kind of get over like the scarring of like what happened when they were younger. And they they see the him in the mirror, a reflection of the guy in the mirror, and the mirror becomes like and the mirror gets smashed and and the mirror's like evil and it's kind of like killing people. It's a good movie. Someone asked if you or me is better at games. Like, oh. who wins the most? Wes is better Here's at games. Here's the thing. We're both not that great at games, <laughs> but I'm better than him. However, my sister is better than both of us. Yeah. No, back in the day, I was the one that I would have to go. It's, a, it's funny it, how it changed around. It switched around. because it used to be if I couldn't beat something, I'd get you to finish it. Yeah. But now it's if you can't beat something, you get me to do it. I think the thing is I got out of playing so much too, and I don't. So I have a question for you guys. Do you want to see me start a gaming YouTube channel? <laughs> I've been seriously considering this. I will take your word and I will take it to heart and consider this as a serious thing. You gotta let me know. Wes is thinking of starting a gaming YouTube channel. What do you think, guys? Brian's like, go ahead. I appreciate the support. And so when that is that I like you can all kinds of so yeah, I will. If if you do it, let me know. I'll let people know, and I'll actually link it up. I'll feature you, and we're gonna we're gonna play Minecraft, and everyone's gonna see. <laughs> oh, it's not you. my fault. You're so bad. <laughs> but you still run away on me. <laughs> you gotta run too. Bloodsucking pharaohs from Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. Okay. I actually haven't seen this one. Uh, I think I saw it years ago. I haven't seen it since I bought it, uh, and I bought it a couple years ago. Uh, it it can't be like I haven't seen it and then I'll be honest. the time that you saw it. <laughs> like years ago, I think it's hot. Uh, like I know Veronica Hart's in this. Veronica Hart, I'm not sure, but I think she may be an adult actress. I don't know anything about adult cinema, but she may be. This is not an adult film, by the way. It's, but yeah, it is actually, it's a comedy, right? Uh, and it's not like a... A serious film, and but it's been years since we've seen it. This one was okay. This was kind of a fun one. Uh, family film, Nightmare in a Damaged Brain. Okay. You gotta love the cover. Yeah, I said blood sucking pharaohs in Pittsburgh. That that that's a film. <laughs> I actually really like this cover. Let's watch this. Look, it's three D, guys. Uh, there's a, what's the UK cover it for this like? Crappy, so we're not gonna show it. Uh, this one actually has a, a, a booklet in it. And if you wanna see like what I'm missing from the from like the first 12 releases here. Hey, Cinematech. Here are the first 12 releases. As you can see, I'm missing X-Ray. I already got the, uh, the uh, Screen Factor edition, but this one has more features, so I do need X-Ray. So if I have any friends from over in the UK and you ever see X-Ray for really, for like cheap, inexpensive, and you want to send it my way, send it my way. This is, Brian, this is Nightmares and a Damaged Brain. Uh, it's a movie that I used to keep seeing like uh, like clips of and like uh, compilation uh, films, and I hadn't seen it. Like, I th And then I actually got this, and I realized, oh, wait, I have seen it, but I didn't think I did. One of those movies where you, you don't know you've seen it until you put down. Oh, yeah. That was Nightmare and Damaged Brain. So remember when you asked what movies were divided on? <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. This is painful. This is physically painful for me. It's not physically painful. It They're is. Classics. I feel it in my soul. It hurts me. This is the Children of the Corn trilogy. Look at Bob. He who walks behind the rose. <laughs> so I love this case. The case looks like a Stephen King novel. Like, like cover. It does. Yeah. So there's three films here. You've only seen the first one, right? Yeah, thank God. But no, they get better. No, I don't think they do. It's one of those that you have to, It's one of those where uh, <laughs> my doctor blood on it. Uh, it's one of those where basically you like the first film is kind of sets a low standard, so that you get better as it goes through. It does Listen, actually. Even if you get better from there, like there's literally only up from that. See, like, Cinematech saying doesn't mind sequels of Children of the Corn. 
So this is the first one. This one is, is not the best one. You're only saying that because you were like <laughs> desensitized after seeing the first. You're this like, a... oh, it can't get any worse. <laughs> and you're right. It literally can't get any worse. It's This has like a documentary. This is really good to get this one because this one actually has a documentary on the producer of the films. And he produced like a lot of other films. You'd actually like the documentary better. He did like movies like Crimes of Passion, the Angel series, uh, Two Moon Junction, Vamp, Doppelganger, uh, a ton of stuff. And there's a documentary all on him. Um, it's actually the best feature in this whole set, to be honest with you. So, yes, Linda Hamilton is in uh, the first Children of the Corn. So this is Children of the Corn 2, The Final Sacrifice. So it's like the first one, except a little bit more action and a little bit likable, more likable characters. It's like, yeah, there are some like eight sequels. I'm going to watch none of them. You are going to watch some of these. No. And this is a good one. When I know when you're thinking about corn... Rows of corn, you're thinking about the city, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Children of the Corn 3, Urban Harvest. So, this one, they're, you know, the, the kids, these two boys were in the, like, in the corn cult, basically, and they're taken out and they're put into, like, a foster home in the, in, like, in, in like, in the, in a kind of, like, a, in a city area. Have you read any Steam King books? No. Oh, I'll get you some good ones. I like, I'm... Listen, you know, don't say I'm not a reader. No, I am a reader. Your sister is a reader, I'm too. Like, like, I'm oh, divided on, like, Stephen Two of these. Because, like, I don't know. Don't let Children of the Corn scare you off. Children no, of the Corn is the worst just, story, I too. Seen, no, I just seem like... <clears throat> he's like a weird guy. <laughs> he's cool. He did a lot of cocaine back in the day, but after he got over that, he's, he's, he's better. All right, so... I got these movies, Scream Factory editions, but I'm a huge fan of the series, so I had to have the 80 Films editions as well because he had like interviews with Justin Kurzweil, and I do like his uh, his slasher book I, that my dad got me actually last year for Christmas. And that this is Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers. Oh, I'm a happy camper, you know that? Yeah. <clears throat> this girl is not in the movie, but hey. She's not? No, no, she's just a model for it. Read it. Oh no, not read it. It is not one of my favorites. So I wouldn't recommend it. That's the one Stephen King <clears throat> book that I know is like weird because it's got like the like giant turtle. <laughs> you just <clears throat> you know how they like they're like we got to be grown ups. You know how they do that in the book. You don't want to know how they do that in the book. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, but like you need to, I like, say, read Dance Macabre. It's a nonfiction one. Uh, the Shining for sure. I know. And uh, Christine. I'll definitely read The Shining. This is Sleep with Camp 3. She's also not in the film. <clears throat> I don't understand why. Like... Oh, it's, oh, you guys know this is not Region 3. No, these are Region B. Uh, B uh, locked, unfortunately. But you could get, you know, you can get the Screen Factory ones. You can get these if you love the covers. And you can actually just use the covers. Uh, not sure if these had alternate artwork as well. Actually, they do. And actually, it's interesting alternate artwork. So let's check it out. So... Sleepaway Camp 2. I, I like I, Sleepaway Camp 3 grows on you. And it's now, like, Jeff, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, yeah. So this was a UK like name for it, Nightmare Vacation. And that girl in the middle, that's Pamela Springsteen. That's the boss's uh, sister. Do you want me to do three? Yep. This is three. She's not in the movie either, but she's cute. Let me see. Oh, she's cute, man. She kind of reminds me of the one from Sleepaway Camp. Uh, it is. Like, there's a Freddy Krueger reference in the film. Uh, it makes sense if you watch If you've never seen them, Brian, I definitely recommend checking them out. Sleepaway Camp 2, in my opinion, is the best of the three Sleepaway Camp films, I'd say by far. But part one is good, too. Part three is okay. See? Indy, you're going to be, you're going to have to get it, aren't you? You're going to be like, am I convincing you? Mountain Dew parody. I think I did see that out actually recently. Ready for this movie? Felissa would be heartbroken, Brian. How was the fourth Sleepaway Camp movie? Uh, it was never really finished, per se. Uh, it's, it's a shorter film. Uh, it, but I, I'm, I'm guessing you mean like the fourth one that was, that was made before they, they kind of rebooted the whole, or they kind of did a sequel to it. Uh, but uh, it, it's not bad. It's better than the, than the Sleepaway Camp, uh, Return to Sleepaway Camp, which, which is atrocious. You, you watched that one, right? Alan, your ass stinks. Yeah. So that's horrible. You think Children of the Corn is bad? Try watching it. 
Return to Sleepaway Camp. Oh, you shouldn't. <laughs> Remember? Yes, unfortunately, yeah. So this is Scalps. This is okay. It's not great. It's got a great cover. Uh, I'm going to hit it a 10. If, if that's four, as in, like, if Return to Sleepaway Camp, that is more than one edit. You're the, you like it, you're just, uh, dude. There's a movie for everybody. A, a, there's officially a movie for everybody. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I like Fliss Rose. Uh, back when I was writing, like early on, I I always said if I do any movie, and uh, like like afterwards, if I, do, if I get anything that's like that I think is decent, and I write it, I would I would write a part for Fliss Rose, and I would write a part for Tiffany Shepes because I like both those actresses. And I uh, would like to have worked with them. So if I ever do, if I ever go back in the film, and I go back to writing or doing anything in film writing or if I go in directing or anything like that, I'll work with them. Return is not better than three. <laughs> Three's got Michael J. Pollard. Like, and he's cool. I mean, like, rest in peace, Michael J. Pollard. Scalps, though. Did you see Dr. Sleep, the sequel to the story? I have not seen it yet. It is a bad movie. I'll give you. I'll give you it that way. It is a fun bad movie. Like, I can't rewatch certain movies. I've watched Return to Sleepaway Camp several times. Like, it's not a good. I know when I'm watching it, it's not a good movie. My brain screams it's not a good movie, but I still can't stop myself from watching it. There's also a short film called Judy, which is kind of a uh, follows one of the characters from Sleepaway Camp, and that's on the uh, features on the, for the Screen Factory edition. Yeah, like she's in the first one. Uh, Fliss Rose is the uh, actress uh, that that uh, the original play is Angela. You and me both, Indy. So next up, I guess it's, it's not, I'm the last one. I'm the last one there, and that is Drive-In Massacre. Yeah, that bothered. I was like, he'll say you shouldn't. Have, his kills are good in Return to Sleepaway Camp. I'll give you that, but it's. Especially the, the bunk pit kill. How often do you watch movies? Regularly now, right? Yeah, actually, we start. My household started watching like we have like themed months now, and we we kind of fell out of it at the moment. But we have like themed months where we'll do like certain types of movies. So for Halloween month, it was like horror movies. November we did Disney. December we did Christmas, that type of thing. Yeah. So we eat like. What's what's this month supposed to be? We had actually we fell out of it halfway through. Uh, so do I get to choose your movies for next month because it's my birthday month? No. I think <laughs> I should be able to choose it. Get to choose it. I don't know. I say it's my birthday month, guys. So I think I should get to choose there. No, it's <laughs> yes. you're not in our house. You don't have to see them. Yeah, cheesy. I'm. I'm. I'm I think I'm going to choose some. Yeah, some cheesy stuff. Drive a Massacre. This is fun. Uh, very low budget. It's uh, almost procedural in some of the way that's done, because the guy that like made this film is actually uh, actually used to be like a I think a private investigator, cop type of thing, and you can tell it by the way the movie's done. This is actually the alternate artwork. The original artwork was uh, was actually fairly uh, fairly tame. I won't take it out, but I'll just show you. Yeah. But I watched this one with Mimi actually. And it was a it was a decent one. We're on the last one. Oh, marvelous Mirbo. This one. And movies do I own? Oh, a lot. Five thousand or so, I guess. Yeah, I'd say about five thousand. A little, little bit more, a little less, I'll say. Probably recently, a bit more I've, rest. Recently, I've been saying four thousand, but you're probably in five by now. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> and more coming. Blood Harvest. This one. Do you like black and white films? Yeah. Oh yeah. Th this is fun. The Vinegar Syndrome Pod said this is actually not out anymore. 80 films. The, uh, there's some rights issue with this one, so they pretty much uh, had to like like haul it off. But luckily, uh, one of the great viewers actually said it is not awful. It is fun. How can you not like a movie where a girl is getting like constantly chloroformed? And uh, <laughs> she is getting classic chloroform by like by the bad guy. We like chloroform her and like 
maybe it's kind of groper, just look at her type of thing. He's really creepy. And the guy from Six Feet Under is yeah, in this. Yeah, why wouldn't you want to watch that? <laughs> the guy from Six Feet Under is in this one as well. I'm not sure if this is a question for you or me. I think it's for me because I think someone asked it earlier. But was, did you see Robert Downey Jr. in the movie Chaplin? I haven't. Have you? Oh, yeah. Cha of course. I own Chaplin. What's your favorite? Do you know Val Luton is? He's a producer and did a lot of like films in the 30s and stuff, 40s. Oh. Um, like Cat People and like stuff like that. The original Cat People. I haven't seen like a lot. I know, I think I know, like. Yeah. You've probably seen just some really. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't really know though. I'm not as well versed in like deep knowledge just at it. You do know your stuff with, with certain I know, things. I know some stuff. Yeah, but. That is our complete. It. I would love to see that show ending. Kurosawa, Seven Samurai, moves like that. Yeah. 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 Kurosawa is like a given. Like, I don't. I don't know anybody that doesn't like Kuro, like Kurosawa. <laughs> you think you're Logan Toxic, right? You think Logan yeah. Toxic? See, you said that, and Logan Toxic's not here tonight. Uh, but immediately, as soon as you said that, Wes started like kind of mumbling. I the Logan Toxic Criterion song. song. So, uh, Criterion Criterion song, theme song. Sale. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. So we actually, so you can say, it, I didn't just say it, we really do like the Criterion Sale song that, that Logan Toxic puts out in his videos. And that is every 88 films. Mm -hmm. And how many was there? 42, right? Yes. There was 42 88 films. Q&A. Q&A time. <laughs> My better half doesn't like Bergman, but I do. <clears throat> Q&A. So now you've got a time. Are there any films you're afraid of? <laughs> Watching yes. Sharp Children of the Corn again. <laughs> actually, there's, there's actually one film that like really, really scared me as a kid. Which one? Exorcist. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, The Exorcist. It really, it actually like traumatized me. I have like a phobia of vomiting now from it. You, I, I, I don't. I can never watch Exorcist. It's like two films I cannot watch: Children of the Corn and Exorcist. <laughs> for different watch. reasons. Yeah. I will do as my better to depressing. No, my my better half doesn't like any like overly dramatic or any like depressing type film. So that's probably the reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's our favorite Kubrick film? Uh, I don't know. Like Kubrick made like The Shining, Lolita, Clockwork Orange. Uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, Barry Lyndon, which is nobody's favorite Kubrick film. Uh, I think of all the ones you named, I've only seen The Shining, but I did like it. <coughs> what films do you guys feel like totally alone and loving? So films we like the uh, Halloween Resurrection for me. I actually really like that film. Uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> Barry Lyndon for, for Brian. <laughs> Oh, and the Cinematheque, apparently. Wow, you're not alone. Uh, for, for Kubrick, for me, uh, I really love Lolita. I do. Uh, just the acting in that one. It's such a brilliant film. Uh, it was, of course, by the book by Nabokov. Uh, well, now I got that song, Don't Stand So Close, me stuck in my head. Uh, but I love That's 2001. Cool. I love, like, The Shining. Uh, I, I'm going to go with 2001. I really love 2001. Ah, Javid, too. Like all great classics, but 2001 really wins it for me. We had the 4K. My uh, my dad bought uh, my uh, better half hint the uh, movie 2001 4K for uh, for Christmas around a year ago, I think. I say I don't think Lolita is one of his last ones. I love Lolita. Uh, and Spartacus. Spartacus. No, no, uh, Halloween Resurrection is, is one with Buster Rhymes, which a lot of people, <clears throat> oh yeah, I made my, my, my son watch things. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> this was my childhood. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, Halloween Resurrection is one with Buster Rhymes, and everybody's like, oh, I hate that, I can't believe Buster Rhymes like, kicked, um, kicked Michael Myers' butt in it, because he does that kung fu sequence. Trick or treat, mother, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's a great line. It is a great line, uh, and it's they could have went so they could have went on so many good directions after that film. 
Oh, like, like it or not, like they were setting it up for, like, oh, look, we got Michael Myers now. Family stuff is out of the way. No family stuff anymore. You can just, uh, you, you can go out and do, get, kill. He's a, he's a free agent, basically. You can kill whoever he wants to. Uh, and they started off picking off these other characters. Most boring film you've ever seen. <laughs> Children of the Corn. I don't love it, but that, that's, that's pretty. Anything else? Boor I don't know about boring. I mean... We agree a on a lot of things. films, actually. A lot of, yeah, because I like... <clears throat> I mean, we don't disagree on a lot of things. I'd say me and Mimi disagree on things. We more like, than, yeah. More than, like, me and you. Yeah, we do agree on a lot of films. Did you watch a movie called Vixens? Sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard of it. The Entertainment! Who's your favorite director and actors? Don't ask me this. Don't ask. You don't I know. Don't, okay, so here's the, here's the the clear difference between me and Dad. Dad knows like directors and actors and everything by name. I don't know. You names. know what you like. I know faces and I know like like scenes. I can see it, but I don't know names. I'm bad with names. Um, and I mean actors. I like the first one that comes to mind is Tom Holland just because he's in the media so much recently. <laughs> Spider-Man, you mean? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but I mean, like, I mean, there was an actor, I don't know. The guy from Things? No. The Molo? No. Such personal Shopper. Yeah, Personal Shopper is one that's recommended to me by my better half, actually. It's not scary, so I don't think so, no. Do I like Schwarzenegger films? I guess it depends on the Schwarzenegger <laughs> yeah. film. Like, yeah, uh, Terminator. Not, what's the one they called? Running Man or something? Running Man, that was cool. I don't like... You didn't like Running Man? No. That's fun. Oh, wait. Who is Olivier? It's, it's I'm not sure. He and she got the wrong. Hudson Hawk. Who? Hudson Hawk. Uh, actually, your mom was a big Hudson Hawk fan. I didn't, wasn't a fan of it. Uh, but it's like a Bruce Willis film. He kind of, he does these cables. He kind of whistles whenever he's like. I haven't actually seen a lot of Bruce Willis films. I think I wasn't really big on Hudson Hawk. Bruce Willis is the. Die Hard. The Die Hard movies. Yeah, okay. I've heard he's a really cool guy. Director of Personal Shopper. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. I didn't know that. See, and, I, and I've seen the film. What's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV is it shows? Barney? Is no, it Teletubbies? Okay. I love no, you. No, I have no <laughs> favorite TV show. If Anything they watch now on a regular basis? Not really. I don't really watch TV shows. Actually, I watch more movies than I do TV. But I guess... It's, pro it's probably going to be a kid show. Like, I'm just going to put that out there. It's probably going to be In like, the Night Garden. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it's probably going to be like um, The Weekenders or something. I love The Weekend. Oh, unfortunately, the guy that played Mikey on Recess passed away today. He was 35 yeah. years old. He was so young. The weirdest film I've ever seen. Things? Got to be uh, things. Have you seen anything weirder than things? Yeah, probably. Probably. I have honestly no idea. I've seen. I'm so I find streets amazing. Over the years. Miami Vice, I love Bonic Woman. Oh, the Tales from Crypt, I love. Love Tales from Crypt and Twin Beaks. Yeah. Do I watch any YouTubers? Uh, yes, I do. I watch. <laughs> I mean, I kind of go through phases um, of different YouTubers who do. Different I'm not types showing my son Caligula. <laughs> uh, YouTubers that I'm watching recently are Eleanor Neal. She does uh, true crime videos as well as makeup stuff. I don't really watch her makeup stuff, but she does true crime things. Oh, I think I've seen her before. Yeah, I've seen her she's before. She's like a redhead. Redhead, you say? Yeah, she's like a redhead. <laughs> no, no, I think I've seen her. I'm just joking. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. I, I, I recently got back into watching Minecraft videos since the new update, and I've been watching a lot of green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feed you were me. <laughs> Sometimes awesome. I actually watch your lives. Do you really? Yeah, I'll come onto your lives if you like. If you go live while I'm studying or something, I'll be like, "Ooh, screw studying." <laughs> Quite to get at studying. Do you watch Rebecca Black? No, but apparently she's really hot now. 
She, is she? I mean, like, she got really... Well, she was a cute little kid when she was... I mean, like, hot as in, like, her channel's hot, or...? No, like, she got, like, really hot. Like, she got really attractive. I saw a picture of her recently. Well, she, she was a cute little kid when she was, like... When she was little, like... I mean, you, yeah, you could see she was going to grow up. She, she was going to grow up and be, like, super hot, I guess, yeah. She's only... She's still young, though. She's, like, what, your age? No, she's older than me. I well, think she, she's, like, 21 or something. Is she really? She was 13 when she did that Friday video. Yeah, but, like, that came out when I was... And like, she looked around, like... 14 or 15, a little bit older, she, than, but she still did, looks she was kid. Like 15 or 16 when she did Saturday. Saturday. Which is like the follow up. I don't. I did not know there was a follow up. I I, I, see, I, I saw last Friday night, which she did with uh, Katy Perry. I actually, okay, I'm going to be honest. I was one of the people that did not mind the song Friday. So I like. Though, when it came to. Uh, yeah, she's 22. Oh, is she really? Yeah, she's 29. Um, when it came to, uh, what was the one, the follow up? No, it wasn't by her, but it was by. The guy that wrote Friday wrote the song. Oh, Chinese food. Yeah. Oh God, that creeps me out a bit. Uh, like he. Okay. She. He, here's the thing. Rebecca Black was like, like, third. like taking advantage of and stuff. And like in that way. No, I don't think so. But like, kind uh. of like, like emotionally. I don't remember exactly, but like it was like you know. And I feel like he probably does that to like young girls. Like they're vulnerable. They're like, I want to be famous, so he just gives them bad songs for money. Yeah, like yeah, and then they, you know, like I like Chinese, and he puts himself in all the videos, right? It, but creepily, and it's Chinese food though. Yeah, because he's a panda going yeah, around with, with a bunch of little kids. It's really freaky. If you're not seeing Chinese food, check it out sometime, <laughs> or else don't. Have any criterion or arrows? You would know the answer to this more than I would. Uh, you don't have any criterion as of yet, though. You did want like uh, uh, a couple years back. You wanted. The Chaplin ones, and I always said I'll, I'll get it, get like West Side and Chaplin Criterion, but I didn't know getting your movies was a thing that you wanted because you usually ask for money. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, so I always usually give you money. Oh, uh, yeah, you got two questions. Bring them up there? Yeah, okay, three. So, three. have I seen The Vanishing? I have seen The Vanishing, I like it. Uh, Debbie Gibson and, and Corey Frick. So yeah, well, they played the parents. What do I think of reality TV? Depends. I used to watch, okay, that's my mom's thing. Reality TV is like my mom's <sighs> thing and I watched a lot of it with mom. Like I would watch things like border security and stuff. Oh gosh. Oh, you know what I watch a lot of? I don't, it's kind of funny to watch. Um, Dog the Bounty Hunter is like bad, but in like a good way. Every time I'd have to come, I'd come over to pick you guys up or something like that for a weekend, you guys would be like watching Dog the Bounty Hunter or like yeah. some kind of like plastic surgery mishap show. And I was I like... I actually like Botched. Oh. Uh, there, I don't, reality TV shows, just so you know, they're not, rea they're, they're not reality. They're not reality. They're, they're so scripted. Reality. But, you know, do it. Who's Ed Wood? Ed Wood. Oh, Planet Night from Their Space. You're going to have to like give me context. He did. It was, it was considered by some to be the worst director of all time, until other directors are really, really bad went around. But he's the worst director in a good way. He likes makes good bad movies. Like Plan Nine of Matter Space had Bela Lugosi in it as this uh, as this vampire guy. But Bela, Bela Lugosi died when the movies first started filming. So Ed Wood got his mom's dentist to use a cape, and he was about a foot taller than Bela Lugosi, and put the cape over him and pretend that he's Bela Lugosi. Uh, okay, so I already love him just for this. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it had like, they have the like really kind of crazy things. So there's a guy named Criswell who was like this kind of like psychic back in the day. And he was kind of like one of the guys. It would come on the film like, things in the, f you know, <laughs> what's, that, what's that? Like future. Oh, God, I got I, I to gotta find it. Um, keep, keep looking at questions. I'm, I'm looking for something there. Okay. Um, will you get the 4K release of Cronenberg's Crash? I, I like Crash. I probably will, actually. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the film. It was uh, kind of controversial in its time. But I, I did actually like uh, like uh, Crash. So the short answer is yes. Um, okay, so... A qui uh, okay, off-topic one. What are, your, what are our favorite types of foods? <sighs> Spag I, I'm a spaghetti person myself. I like vegetables mom had a party trick with me when i was a kid apparently i don't remember this because i was a toddler at the time where she would put like she'd give me in one hand like a broccoli florette and then in the other a brownie and then she'd be like eat one 
and I would eat the broccoli because I'm a vegetable hoe. <laughs> um, oh, Criswell Coat, are you ready for this one? Yeah. Greetings, my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. And remember, my friend, future events such as, the, as this, these will affect you in the future. <laughs> okay. Come on, you gotta love that. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if this is a joke question, but I've never seen Back to the Future, the animated series. Was it good? Uh, Back to the Future, it's okay. It's, a, it's kind of like an animated series with a little bit like of kind of like a, now you know, kind of learn type of thing. Um, it's, uh, I got the Back to the Future trilogy and had the complete animated series included with it. Okay. Which is actually pretty cool. I've actually never seen Back to the Future. It's classics. They're good. I've heard it's good, but I don't know. I also, I have a question. People keep mentioning Z grade films. What is a Z grade? Z grade is like lower than B grade. So Z grade is like real, like things. Things is a Z grade film. Oh, like bad films? Bad, like really bad films. Oh, okay, okay. Like uh, Nail Gun Massacre is a Z grade film. Oh, so, oh, like the thing where it like S, A, B, C, D. Like Z, right on. Z. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, we, we do. Like, uh, he likes them. He likes Z grade films. I take a lot of breaks from movies. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you took a break for a long time. Yeah, I took like years. So, lot, uh, for years, I was like, I don't like watching movies. Somebody watched, somebody mentioned Rabbit. Are you talking about the original or the remake? I haven't seen the Saskia Sisters remake yet, if that's the one you're talking about. But I love the original Rabbit. And I'm a big fan of Saskia Sisters. Though I didn't like uh, Seeing Evil 2. I wasn't a big fan of that one. But I like Jan and Sylvia Saskia, so I'll probably like it. What's your favorite anime? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. You know what my favorite anime is? Robocop. Robocop? Oh, no. Wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. I don't listen. Listen. <laughs> Ro listen. I'll buy that for a dollar. I don't know names. <laughs> oh, God. I'm joking. <laughs> Robodeck. Yes, Robotech. <coughs> Rick Hunter. Take a sip. My wallet actually has Full Metal Alchemist on it. I've never seen the <coughs> Full Metal Alchemist. I've only seen Brotherhood. Um, Brotherhood but you're going to say your wallet has Robotech on it. No. Do I read manga? Not really. The most recent one I read, um, I only read the first one. It's like a three-parter. I don't remember what it's called, actually. But it's about like this. Did you read the Jungo Ito stuff? Junji Ito? Yeah. No. Uh, well, some of it. Me, me, <coughs> Junji Ito. Um, oh, good stuff. It's, it's really good, yeah. Spiral. It's yeah. Uzumaki. Yeah, yeah. Um, but oh, I don't remember what it was called, but it's just like the, this, this group of guys are like... Oh, my God. I don't even know how to describe it. Guys? They... Group? They're, okay, so... It's, it involves the internet. Like, there's, like, it's, like, I want to <coughs> I want to say the words internet crimes, but it's not, like, cyber crimes. It's, like, they're using the internet for crimes. If that makes the sense. The planned crimes? Yeah. Someone just mentioned can't... one of your favorite movies, by the way. Really? My Name of Totoro. That's not one of my favorite movies. You used to love that, My Name of Totoro. I didn't see it until I was, like, Oh, like 12. was it Mimi that loved it? Yeah, Mimi loved it. Yeah, <coughs> Totoro, Totoro. I love Kiki's Delivery Service. It's good, but is it My Name of Totoro? It's better. It's not better than My Name of Totoro. It is, yeah. <coughs> I'm okay, guys. Advice, but... Paul, <laughs> which one's better? My Name of Totoro or Kiki's Delivery Service? Is it? Kiki's Delivery Service is a solid Oh, product. my God. Yes. Yes. I agree. <coughs> oh. They know. They know. Totoro is the Mickey Mouse of of Asia. Ah, Brian agrees with me, and Greg agrees with me. Okay, only some of you know. <laughs> <laughs> is the movie your unfriend? No, no. It's, I think he's talking about like an anime, uh, like a manga, a book. Yeah, I was reading a manga. Unfriended. What was that one? That's a movie basically, but like where they're all on online on computers. Oh, they did yeah, a sequel, which is actually better. Uh, 
I haven't seen Spirit Away, but I want Spirit Away is really good. I'll, I'll agree. Spirit Away is really good. Do but to tour. Hanna Barbera. Like the stuff. Flintstones, Scooby Doo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that, actually. Jabba Jaws. I like Jabba Jaws. I loved Flintstones when I was a kid. You know, Hinden is not a big Flintstones person. Really? Yeah, I'm surprised. That surprises me, actually, a lot. <coughs> Who's Fellini? Uh, for F Federico Fellini. He's a, uh, a, a town director. Have I seen anything of it? Uh, no, I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't know if I like him, though. <laughs> the, the, he's got some, got a lot of good stuff. You probably would like Amicord stuff like that. There's some okay. decent Fellini films. Okay. What kind of books do you like to read? Um, so I'm kind of a nerd. I like to read a lot of nonfiction stuff. I just like learning from the things I read. But uh, I'm actually reading a book right now called Fairy Tales, um, and it's it's about this like this family moves to upstate, like New York, kind of like rural area, and they get this house and they are basically. They basically encounter fairies, and there's some sort of fairy, like, there's some sort of, like, supernatural war that's going on, but, like, we don't, they don't really know it so much. I am a nerd. Um, <coughs> I, I am, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of, it's, I, I like it so far. So, it's actually got, like, some really good. It sounds interesting. I just found it kind of comical that you said. I like true stories. I like reading about stuff that I can no, learn. I and then you mentioned fairy tales. Well, this is, this is what it, like, this is, <coughs> I didn't expect it. Is it a true it. story? No, no, obviously not. <laughs> it's, well, actually, it's based on real folklore, which is one of the things that I like about it. It's based on, like, real folklore about, like, fairy tales, because it takes place in, like, this community where, like, it sounds interesting. It sounds really Irish interesting. stuff happening. It actually reminds me of a book I read as a kid. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but it, it was set in, in St. John's, and, like, during the war, and it was about, like, Fairies? Yeah, fairies. Have you ever read it? <coughs> I'm not sure. Do you like Transformers? Cartoon not, or movie? N not really. I'm Did not you see the cartoon? Did you see the movie? I'm Optimus Prime and I must now sacrifice myself again. No, Optimus Prime. We got this. We can do it. No, I must sacrifice myself yet again. Uh, you sp you're Korean to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah, I do. I speak, I, speak, I speak a little bit of Korean, a little bit of Japanese. Um, I actually took Japanese classes in university. Um, Do you like The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings? Not really. Don't I tell him. I haven't seen any of them to the end, but not really. <coughs> well, the books. Oh, in terms of books, I haven't read them either. Yeah, it is cool. I'm actually going, if all things go to plan, I will be going to Korea for just over a week at the end of the semester. Do you speak French? I don't. <laughs> I'm learning. I can, okay. I can watch... Korean things without subtitles and understand a good portion of what's going on, but I don't really get the details. I'm not like fluent or anything, but I do have like a general, <coughs> the most like more common words I know. Yeah. So if they say something like, what's up in Korean, you'd be like, hmm. I mean, if they said what's <laughs> up in Korean, I'd probably be like, hey, that's, what that's what's up. <laughs> One of the funniest things I saw online is this guy was horror films can be viewed without subtitles. Yeah. But I do like subtitles, like horror films, though. Uh, yeah. you, did you see Unibaba? It's an Asian film. This girl, these two, this uh, mother and daughter, and basically they kill samurais to steal their, their, their money and stuff and their food so that they can survive. They're like really poor. <coughs> and this uh, this guy comes and he he becomes entangled with the with the daughter. <clears throat> they romantically involved. And the mother is afraid that uh, she's going to lose the daughter. So she meets up with this samurai that won't take off his mask. She, she kills him. He's got this kind of like creepy like devil like mask on. Uh, <coughs> and he tells her, he said, you know, my face is too handsome to take off the mask. I will never take off my mask. So she goes and she rips off his mask and his face is horribly this like f disfigured wow. on the inside so she goes out and she takes the mask and she uses it to go out and like scare her her daughter to stay away from the, this guy I haven't saying she'd be I cursed I won't tell you what else happens but it's actually really good there you go okay, guys so a couple things did I see <coughs> did I see Shin Godzilla? is that that's the weird one yeah that's the one is that Press the one up. is that the one that you would start with Mimi yeah, okay. I've, probably, I've, yeah. I've definitely seen it, yeah. I just don't remember which one it is. Also, a random question. Do I like to ski? 
you hit the jackpot on that because it's actually one of the few sports I do like to do. I actually do like skiing. Uh, right now, I'm learning with Duolingo. Uh, I'm getting a, a tutor when I go to Morocco. <coughs> so a bit of both. Like playing Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, or Tekken. I do. Um, I don't know, which one's your favorite if you had to play a fighting game? Maybe Street Fighter. You and him, Street Fighter, all the way. Really? I mean, it's kind <coughs> of like a... Mimi would say Mortal Kombat. I, I'm, I'm kind of a toss-up. Get Mortal over Kombat here. Fighter, but... Nobody mentioned Soul Calibur. That's a fun series. You can move marathons a sport. Right on. <laughs> what kind of musical artists and music do you like? I will listen to pretty much anything as long as it's not Screamo. I'm not into screaming. Although there are a couple songs that like have screaming in them that I like. <coughs> I don't like death metal. <coughs> I'm not yeah, a death I'm metal person. Into, like, I'm not into metal, but pretty much anything. Killer Instinct. I like Killer Instinct. I do like K-pop. Do you like Chinese food? I like Chinese food. <laughs> Eminem. I like Eminem. I actually do like Eminem. Yeah. He showed up at the uh, Oscars, which is kind of cool. Yeah. I just remember listening to him a lot as a kid. Yeah, I, I had the tapes. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a nostalgia thing, I guess. I also had the tapes for Adam Sandler. Really? Yeah. Piece of shit car. I don't know this, but okay. Me, me. You're, you're, you're like a baby. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, I had the... Lose Yourself is a great song. Phantom of the Paradise or Rocky Horror Picture Show. Ooh, hard. I don't think I've seen Phantom. Oh, wait. Yes, yes you'd, I have. Oh, my God. Maybe it would make you see Phantom. I've seen it. I just didn't recognize the title for a second. Um, Caught up in the wheel and deal. Uh, uh, I can't choose. I'm going to say Phantom of the Paradise. Of oh, Paradise. Paradise? Rocky. Phantom of the Paradise. I th yeah, I think I'm going to say that. Um, do I like 6 9 I don't know. I don't really keep up with modern day music as much because I'm in university and I'm really busy all the time. But, um, <coughs> maybe? I love Shock Treatment, too. Shock Treatment. You've seen Shock Treatment? Probably. It's a sequel. It's not, oh, sorry. It's not a sequel. It's not a prequel. It's an equal. Do I play any musical instruments? Yeah. Piano. Not as much anymore because I left my keyboard at my mom's house. Um, but I do like to play piano. I'm not particularly good at playing any instrument, <coughs> but I like to. I also play a kalimba. It's like a finger piano. You've probably seen ads for it online. Um, what? Uh, what? What is the worst film your dad has made you watch? Oh, I wonder which one. <coughs> it's Children of the Corn. <laughs> attack. It's Children of the Corn. Do you watch any sports? Yeah, I watch the Winter Olympics. I like winter sports, but I don't. I'm not huge on like. I don't like traditional sports. I don't know. We watch, like, uh, if we go to the bar, we watch, like, usually, like, basketball, and we'll watch some, like, uh, well, well, football, what's called, right? But soccer is called here in North America. <clears throat> like, uh, some of that. And I used to watch, like, hockey back in the day. Back when Gretzky was with Edmonton Oilers. I can time. sit and watch, like, soccer, but I can't, I don't really know what's happening. I'm not, I'm, like, not a sports. I never did sports. <laughs> like I, I'm not. A, I was never like a sports jockey person. Like there's people at my work that they talk about sports, and I'll be like, and they're and they'll go into like talking about baseball, and stats and like team pe people and stuff like that. I did play Tekken ball. <clears throat> I actually like it a lot. So did my uh, actually my my oldest was Tekken ball. Did you like play Tekken bowling? I don't know. <clears throat> and, I'll, and I'll be like, yes, go sports. Use. I like the sports person doing those sports things with their sports equipment. Sports. <coughs> I've actually, okay, so in terms of bowling, just like regular bowling, yeah. I have only been bowling twice, but both times I won. Yeah. Remember the time I took you curling? Yes. Oh, yeah, you, you do like art. Yeah, I do like art. I'm I, not a particularly <coughs> good artist, but I You're, like you are pretty good. I do like pixel art. Actually, I have a... I don't know if I should mention it, actually. I don't know if you know this. Huh. I have a second Instagram that I had just dedicated to pixel art, and I actually do pixel art and post it on You it. didn't tell me? No, I forgot. 
I have like a software on my computer and something on my phone that I do pixel art with. And after me buying you that thing that time, that art. Oh, the path. yeah, yeah. <coughs> I actually need to get that from mom. It's somewhere in mom's house, but I don't, I don't think she found it yet. Well, if I, I'm so in April or or maybe a little later, I'm gonna be going back that way. So I'll let you know ahead of time. So if your mom's got anything that she wants, there I'll. <clears throat> There's some of my favorite painters. I don't know. I mean, like actual classic painters i oh my god i get i like i like dolly yeah i really i don't know it's, van gogh van gogh's really, van gogh's really good yeah <coughs> do you have any what game system do you have <coughs> uh pc ps4 oh well like just me or like my household because like in terms of in my house like my sister's girlfriend has like a bunch of game systems she brought with her too so like in the whole house we have a <coughs> i only have like um a switch and a pc but like you're forgetting one. Oh, the 3ds nope you're forgetting another one too then what am i forgetting retron 5 oh that's Cause, okay yeah because you and mimi bought retron 5 together oh yeah yeah <coughs> but we also have a ps4 gamecube Bob PS2. Ross. I'll just put some little trees right here. <laughs> Bob Ross is so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Some happy. We'll just we'll just make this a little bit happier. Well, just put a, I'll just put the sun right here, and we'll just put some happy little trees. We we'll just do one more tree. Bob <coughs> Ross is so sweet. <coughs> oh, he was, was the man. What PC games do I play? Um, at the moment, I play. Recently, I played Moonlighter. Um, when I'm with friends, I play Stardew Valley on PC. I still got to get that game. I don't have it. All my friends uh, have Stardew Valley. It's so good. I know I've seen it play. Um, I'm not like a Is Stardew player. Valley the new... What's the game I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm trying to say? Harvest, Harvest Moon? Moon? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, I love Harvest... Like, I was a huge Harvest Moon fan. I remember having a <clears> game <throat> on the Wii as a kid, and you got rid of it when I was like out one day. You got... Because you traded the Wii and all the Wii games for another system. And yeah. I came back and I was so mad. <laughs> I was like, what was it? What, uh, what, what, what game system did I go for at the time? I think like the Xbox. Yeah, I think went for the Xbox. I think yeah, <coughs> I was wrong. So mad. <coughs> we got the Wii. We got Viva Pinata, and I loved that. Yeah. But I was still so mad about how I was like, <laughs> And you became an Xbox person too. I did. I grew up on Xbox 360 mostly. What musicians do you hate? Wes uh, doesn't drive yet, but he wants to get his license. What? Drive. Oh, do I drive? No. I yeah. I want to. I'm gonna study at the end of this like semester after i wes has a pretty heavy like like course load yeah <coughs> i just don't i'm like <laughs> thanks Alan. yes um okay what musicians do i hate i don't think i hate any musicians per se it's a strong word <coughs> uh i'm trying to think of anyone that i don't like yeah i'm trying to think of one that i don't like i can't think of any that i like i don't I'm sure there's some. Like I just can't think of them right now. Yeah, I'm sure there's some, but I'm like... Like, I'll get off camera and be like, my God, oh, this person. Yeah, it's... When you're on or just like, okay, no. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Uh, like, I don't like a lot of, like, heavy, heavier metal. I can like I like heavy metal, but I don't like, like, hard, like... I wasn't big into... Uh, I get a kick out of them. I'm not a big ICP person uh, in St. Clown Posse. <clears throat> One of my friends is, like, is definitely... she. She's a juggalo. <clears throat> but, uh... <clears throat> but I was never that big into uh, Insane Clown Posse. Though I find that song hilarious where, like, you know, magnets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Do I have any toy figures? Do you have any toy figures? Not really. I have, like, tiny little things from Power Rangers, and I also have, like, a little figure from BT21, which is, like, a BTS thing. Yeah. But not really. I don't. Um, Do you have your old doll collection with you? No, because it was heavy. I couldn't bring it. I, I always tried to, like, not press reading, but, like, get my kids to read. So one year, <clears throat> I got him, like, a, a Royal Dog collection of books, which you liked, right? You liked yeah, Royal I did. Dog. I was surprised by it. And you and him were like, <clears throat> oh, we thought you'd like it. And I'm like, no, I do. I just was surprised. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They have a movie soundtrack. Out not yet, uh, awesome. Elvin. I really want to start. I got, like, a couple of movie soundtracks, but not a lot. And that's because my... my uh, my record player actually kind of broke down. I need to get a new one. I'm waiting to go to Morocco to get one uh, because I do like vinyl. I find the sound of vinyl better. Mm. That's a very hipster thing to say too. But I'm kind of a hipster, so. 
Do I collect any of these? <clears throat> you do. I don't know. I would say you do. I collect the knowledge. No. Yeah, I, no, yeah. So, uh, I don't, you collect you know, yeah, yeah, games you collect and stuff like that. I don't. I'm not really. I don't. I don't really collect a ton of. I. I think last night I mentioned I'm kind of like a minimalist in some ways. I don't have a ton of stuff with me. I don't like to have a ton of stuff on me. Yeah, you time. like to travel too. It's the thing yeah, too. I'm. I'm like I'm a nomad, <laughs> so I don't. I don't want to bring a bunch of stuff. I don't think I collect anything though. I guess I. Okay. Oh, I love Lady Gaga. Did someone mention Lady Gaga? Oh. I love Lady Gaga. Famously. Yeah, and she's so cute. I've I, never played Diablo too. I have. It's good. I like Diablo. You like? Probably yeah. <clears throat> uh, I've given up on Half Life ever. A new Half Life ever coming out at this point. I was talking about that with a friend today. Favorite stand up comedian. Okay. I actually watched a lot of stand up comedy with mom over the years. Okay. Um, I really like Fluffy. He's he's like this big Hawaiian guy. Okay. And he's I have no idea who this is, but go ahead. He, he's like, <coughs> he's like, he, I mean, it used to be a lot about like I'm majoring in geography. Just a quick note, I'm a geography major. Interesting fact: um, Dad sucks at geography. I used to suck at geography, and I actually hated it in high school. But oh. Yeah, I really do. I I, I still suck at Jack Queen. Uh, yeah, Game of Thrones. <clears throat> yeah, Fluffy. He's like this like huge Hawaiian Hawaiian guy, and he I mean yeah. Um, he made like he does like he he. I mean, he used to do a lot of humor about how he was. Just oh, fat. Gabriel Iglesias is his name apparently. Yeah, Gabriel Iglesias. He he used to do humor about how he was like fat, but then he had like a like he had like a stepson or something, and then he did like a lot more like family jokes. He's just, he's honestly like really funny. I haven't I played Disco like, Elysium. Did you play Disco Elysium? No. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm a big George Carlin fan myself. Uh, I love George Carlin. There's, um, there's a comedian that mom is technically related to through, like, marriage, I think. Like, someone, this, like, she's got a lisp. Is she remember. good? She, yeah, she's pretty good. Jen likes her, my coworker. <clears throat> oh, not the she not no no. I'm thinking Paula Pound. Some that's a much older comedian. Someone be her. She's like got a lisp. Brown hair. Is it Paula Poundstone? Your your mom's related to Paula Poundstone? I don't know. <clears throat> Is she a young comedian or an older comedian? I don't know because when I saw her, she looked like I don't know, like in her thirties. But I don't know when that was. Maybe I'm not sure if this is her or not. It wouldn't be her, would it? I don't know. I don't think so. No, not her. I don't know. She has, she like has a come. list, though. But my, <coughs> my mom's family married someone in her family, so. Jim Gaffigan. I, I don't. I, I've, I've seen some of his stuff, but I couldn't off, right off the edge remember it right now. I like Old Boy. <clears throat> I prefer the original over the remake. I don't love Old Boy. <laughs> Um, but I mean, it's not, it's Nikki not Payne. Bad, but I don't it's it. Nikki yes, Payne. Nikki Payne. That's who it is. <clears throat> oh, she's from Nova Scotia, actually. Yeah, ma, someone in her family married to her mom's family. Well, the fact, well, I guess, like, well, by some pretty darkness to do with that. I'm just like, I'm, it's, it makes me uncomfortable. I can understand that. I think we can all understand all by making people uncomfortable, especially with the, with the twist. Like, I don't, I don't dislike it. I just don't. <clears throat> Like it, I don't have strong. Is that your least favorite of the Vengeance trilogy then, or? Because there's Lady Vengeance too, and there's yeah, Sympathy I've for. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen all of them. Vengeance. I, I low by things the best of the three of them actually. I don't know. <clears throat> I would go with that. I don't. <clears throat> I don't know though. Who's better at basketball? Probably you. I taught you how to shoot. Shoot. When, when we were young. Do you yeah, remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, we used to play. Uh, uh, we used to like kind of just basically do. Uh, you know, just play one on one and just play like a uh, play horse and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I do like dark water, not the American one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk about do you like dirty bath water? Like, <laughs> <laughs> she likes it. <clears throat> but yeah, I do. Too. I do. Too. I like the original. 
Uh, I can watch the American one because Jennifer Connelly's in it. That's pretty much it. Because <laughs> Connelly. I, I like... I like a lot of J-horror. I don't know a ton about, like, Japanese stuff, but I do know, I do like a lot of Japanese horror. You know what you like. Yeah. Did we miss any questions before we go? Let's see. Um, have you played Two Point Hospital? No. I haven't. No. I played the arcade ba baseball Batman. Actually, no, I, uh, I haven't, actually, I don't think. I'm not big on a lot of baseball games. I I, used, I play the show. I used to play the show. Um, I used to play a few like sports games. A lot of them I used to play back in the day because I love the the soundtracks. Ichi the Killer. That's a bit of a. I like Ichi the Killer. It's it's a bit of an unusual film. Did uh did your sister show Ichi the Killer? That would be a little odd one though. I don't know. It's it's the Kishi. Have you seen the Happiness of the Katakaris yet? I don't know. Think of like. By Almost name, like sound of the music with zombies and stuff in it. I haven't seen zombies. <laughs> yeah. Dad, do you, do you, this is a question for you. Um, do you play PC games? Uh, not often. I'm not a huge PC. I got I got a PC gaming computer, uh, and I've been meaning to. I had friends gift me a couple Steam games. Uh, I don't play a lot of PC games. I usually play on play on uh, on the uh, on, on the consoles, and I do have all the consoles. Uh, do I like Zadichi? I got the set. Do you like Zadichi? The Blind Swordsman. Oh, I don't think I've seen it. I was like, they're fun, actually. Do I like you made it right at the end, Oz. Hey. <clears throat> Welcome, dude. Do I like Scorsese? You know, like, you know, Godfather, you know, Goodfellas, stuff like that. Does I haven't that seen either of those. Maybe. I'm not good. Listen, okay. You remember when you were like, it's one of those things where you don't know if you've seen it. And, and you may have seen it, too. On. Yeah, I don't... I don't, they, like, my memories from childhood are, like, really bad because I <laughs> have a terrible memory. I don't remember what I did last week. Um, but, I mean, like, I just don't. Did you like Jaws? Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> I don't actually think I've seen Jaws. Oh, my God, you can see Jaws. Through. I've I seen got bits of it, but I don't think I've seen the full thing, like, in one sitting. Baby Shark. <laughs> Do you like Baby Shark? I'll actually punch you. Like... <laughs> No. Uh. Would you like to sing Baby Shack right now? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I did it. I did it for for my better half in Morocco. But I was tipsy at the time, and I did the whole song. Hitchcock. You like Hitchcock? Yeah. Do, -do, 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 -do. Do you have a favorite? Um... Probably not, honestly. I'm not good with like. Favorites. Shadow of a Doubt is my favorite. Like, uh, but I like Psycho too. Like, Psycho's good. The Birds, so it's, Birds is good. But uh, yeah. Rear Window, Strange on Train. I don't really do like favorites because I always feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh yeah. I'm like, like yeah. oh no, I still love the other things. <laughs> Vertigo. Vertigo's not one of my favorites, Greg. Actually, to be honest with you, I'll, it's a great film. I love the way Vertigo's done. But you know what? Brian De Palma did a movie called Obsession. Uh, and I like it better because it has a happier ending. Uh, it sounds weird, I know, but it's, that's true, actually. I know I need to see it. I'm going to have an extra copy of Jazz here, I'm going to give you, actually. Stop giving me things. <laughs> i got to bring it all home. <laughs> Do you like Lauren Hardy? That's another fun mess you up. <laughs> I don't you, know. Uh, there are comedians, uh, I'm not sure if uh, he's seen Lauren Hardy. You hate Obsession. I love Obsession, I really do. Uh, it, it, it's like, it's a happy bird to go. You're like in happy endings. You're a Bergman fan, aren't you, uh, Ryan? Uh, I like Bergman too, but uh, no, actually, uh, Obsession. I actually, I really got into that one. Uh, it just hit me at the right time. I think if you see a movie, sometimes you might you get a movie and you you just hate it, and you watch it again later on, and you're just you're like, why didn't I like this movie before? Or sometimes you just you just don't like a film. Now, and other times you see a movie at exactly the right time that you need to see it, and it'll just hit you. And when I watched Obsession, uh. It was, I needed to see it at that time. Uh, and it made me happy. So I think that worked. The birds, the birds too, it's not better than the birds. Although I'm not, uh, birds is not one of my favorite Hitchcock films, actually. To be, uh, do, do you like the Three Stooges? I do, yeah, actually. I like the Three Stooges. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't love them, but like, I don't, you know, they're cool. 
Oh, I'm, I cry at a lot of films, right, Eggman. I'm actually a big softie. You know that? Yeah, you are. Commercials can come off. I'm actually not. I find it, I, it, I don't cry at, like, anything. I don't, I don't know why. I just can't cry at things. Maybe it's tea. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently that's a thing, though. But I was, I was never a crier in the first place. Roddy Piper is the best sidebook skills. <laughs> I like Roddy Piper. I'm huge. Roddy Piper's Canadian. I love Roddy Piper. I love hearing about like famous people and then finding out they're Canadian. Yeah, when I was, there was like some of my friends. Well, I guess you know didn't know. There's like, oh, Roddy Piper is from Scotland. I know he's Canadian. <laughs> he's just like he's just a wrestler. That's like yeah. There's a few of them. Like Ivan Koloff was this like the Russian bear. Like oh, he's from like Montreal. I think. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you like Ridley Scott? He's the one that did Aliens and like. Uh, oh. Um, Alien actually. Aliens was done by James Cameron. I don't know. The original Aliens. You like? You've seen Alien. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Do I like? Oh, is it? I've seen Blue as the warmest. I've seen Blue as the warmest cover many, many times, uh, because I like the. It's great quality acting. It was my favorite Stooge. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's different, a few different curlies. Uh, Maybe Mo. Do I like wrestling? Yes. Do I like Star Trek? No. <laughs> oh, hey. I don't dislike it, but I think it's boring. You you had to like Star Trek. No. Make it so. <laughs> I watched an episode of like Star Trek for something in school once. And did you think, oh my god, this is the most amazing thing you've ever seen? No. Well, actually, it was pretty good, honestly. But uh huh uh huh uh huh. It was this episode based on um, it was like based on a Greek myth. Oh, was it like original Star Trek? No. It was like a new thing. The original Star Trek's really good. Captain Kirk. I mean, I like the memes about it. Hey, Star Trek to watch Deep Space Nine. I also reverse of that. Do you, Do you like Star, Star Wars? Wars? Not really. <laughs> oh, you like Star Wars? It's a trilogy. I okay. Here's the thing. Pe pe people say it's like are you you're West, Star Trek. I am your Star father. Wars. <laughs> I'm neither. I'm not. I was never into like space. <laughs> I am your father. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I just. I don't like. Do you like Indiana Jones? Uh yeah, actually. I like <laughs> That's Jones. your trilogy. Yeah. L Hins too, actually. Really? Hins loves Indiana Jones. I don't know. I don't like. I've been more. I don't. I never did the space thing. Kids had like a space thing. I didn't have a space thing. Thanks for being a bandwagon fake nerd. <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm a nerd. Uh, if I had to pick between Star Wars and Star Trek, I'd probably pick Star Wars. But what? I mean, like, I still don't like. Like I I'd pick Star Wars solely for the Lego games. Lego <laughs> Star Wars is a really fun game. Oh, they are super fun. We used to play that all the time. Yeah, they. So and the Indiana Jones Lego is really good the too. Indiana Jones Lego is so good. Lego games are good. <laughs> Lego games are good. Do you like Crystal Skull? In space, no one can hear you scream. I don't it's know what Crystal Skull is. That's the last day in the Jones film. Oh! The one gets in the refrigerator. And... Oh! <laughs> that's, uh, a, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I want, I'm excited about the new one. They're doing a new one. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh. The Crystal Skull's not bad. It's, it's fun. I mean, like, people went in like, what is this in Indiana Jones film with like supernatural stuff in it? All of them. Uh, <laughs> do you, do we like Jim Henson movies? Yes. Okay. You know Muppets, The Labyrinth, oh. you know, Dark Crystal stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. No. Muppets. It's time what? to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Dun 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 dun. I I like the Muppets. <sighs> I'm sort of like into the Muppets. <laughs> and very special guest, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Have we been to Disneyland or Disney World? No, no. funny story actually. <laughs> In 2016, we had a trip planned to uh, to go to Disney World with uh, with you guys with kids, yeah. and we canceled it. Uh, so, and that's all <laughs> we're gonna why. say. That's all we're gonna say. Uh, Fraggle Rock is great. Oh yeah, Fraggle Rock. I like Fraggle Rock a lot. What's his name? Goober, right? Yeah. So. Remember Uncle Traveling Matt? Oh, he was, he was so cool. He used to like tell him about like the world outside. Oh yeah. Oh, I yeah. got another letter from Uncle Traveling Matt. <clears throat> do I like Pee Wee's Playhouse? You know? Do you watch Pee Wee's Playhouse? I didn't watch it, I think. 
All right, kids, the word today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I never watched that. I remember. And when, when did, you heard the word, you'd scream? One, was that the one where, like, they, like, Pee Wee Herman did, like, the crack commercial, and then everyone was like, whoa, Pee Wee got dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kids should knew crack. <laughs> mm. I've never seen Never Ending Story. And uh, it's a great, I love what Never Ending Story is in theater. Um, and I love the song. So, I love poutine. Yeah, I like poutine. I can't eat it because I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah. Um, but. I, skate, I I used to know skateboard. You, you skateboard? Did you skateboard? I, no, I'm bad. When I, I was young, I'm not great. When I was young, I used to skateboard a lot. Hey, George, welcome. Only Fools and Horses. Yes. Do I like it? I don't know. Uh, it's Mimi's favorite uh, British comedy. And you must have seen it. Oh. Del Boy. Lovely Jubbly. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do I like Sesame Street? Um, yeah, kind of. It was more of my sister's thing, but... I got this picture here. I drew it for Mr. Hooper. When can I give it to him? I actually... That's the <laughs> <listen. laughs> <laughs> That one would get you. It was sad. I mean, I don't... That was not... That was before my time, but... Mr. Hooper's... You can't give it to, to him. Big Bird, Mr. Hooper is not coming back. So he actually deals with a lot coming of Coming ever? He's not coming back ever? Never ever. Who's gonna make my my bird my birdseed milkshakes? <clears throat> I'll make your birdseed milkshakes for you. That like traumatized me as a kid. I do like Monty Python. We're just gonna forget about <laughs> that. that <happens>. <laughs> <laughs> and now for something completely different. I liked Elmo a lot. We actually watched Monty Python last weekend. Well, we got the complete really? series here. Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's it's so good. I'll bite your knees off. Come back here. <laughs> I haven't seen the new Tom Hanks film yet, no. It's the Shape of Water. I haven't seen it. It's like Creature from the Black Lagoon gets busy. I don't want to see it. <laughs> no, it's actually good. It's still Toro. It's still Toro. Okay. <clears throat> Holy girl. Yes, I'm a huge fan of it. And then, and then don't, you got to love Life of Brian too, right? Uh, Life of Brian's really good. I don't think I've seen it. That's the one where like Brian is born the same time that Christ is born. And he kind oh. of, you know, and there's a sequence at the end, near the end of it where Christ is like, he's like, here, let me take your cross for you. And then Christ runs away and he gets like, like he gets like put on the cross instead oh my and God. do the song, you know, always look on the bright side of life. Yeah. Oh, cool. <clears throat> I'm a huge Monty Python fan, guys. I grew up like my humor comes from Monty Python. If I ever, if you ever wonder why my humor sounds weird and twisted, that's why. I, I grew up watching Monty Python. Check who's that. You know what I grew up watching? Me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Monty Python, Faulty Towers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Do you like Faulty Towers? You love Faulty Towers? I don't know what it is. I'm going to share Faulty Towers. You'll love that. It's the best, one of the best that comes ever. I do like Doctor Who. It's like Terry Gillum movies. <laughs> I don't, sure, I'm much talk to Terry Gillum. We watched Doctor Who last night, actually, a really good episode. If you haven't seen the last episode, it's a Frankenstein style episode, and it's really good. Yeah, it's I find it a little cringy. I'm not a huge fan of the new Doctor. Like I don't dislike her, but I mean, like she's okay. And well, you gotta get the whole storyline. But last series, not the greatest. They were trying to find their way. You need a story arc for the new Doctor show. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> we know how to swim. N not for you know swim better than me do. Better than I me do. English swim. as well. <laughs> me no no English. I Bananas and pajamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas and pajamas are chasing teddy bears. Yes. Yes, I have. I remember that, yeah. You just like to give the tour another chance, man. He's a big he's a big geek like me. He actually has a freak looking house for writing in. I, I love it. I love to go to his house. I actually learned Trending how to swim house. in Morocco. Yep. I took swimming lessons <coughs> for a while as a kid. Didn't do well. It wasn't until I had to swim a lot while I was in Morocco because it was way too hot to be outside of water. I learned how to oh, swim. yeah. You and Mimi were just in the pool the whole entire time we were there. It was so good. You guys had to do adult stuff, but I was only 13, so I got to do kid things. Adult stuff? That's not so bad. Yes, let's go to the key party. No, like you were for, like, <laughs> for a wedding and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like meeting people, doing big yeah. things, and I'm like, I'm going to hang things. out in the pool, <laughs> drink some fresh lemonade. So do we like Marvel? And what else was it? Do you Harry like Marvel? Potter or Marvel? I like uh, I like them both. Um, uh, I like the Marvel movies better than the Harry Potter movies. I like Harry Potter books. J.K. Rowling can can kind of suck it with some ratitude so recently. So yeah, 
that's my okay, thoughts there. So here's the thing. I like. Which Batman movie do you I like? I like the Harry <laughs> Potter. I like the concept of Harry Potter, but I don't care about Harry Potter's story. <laughs> question. What's, so, which. So, you got a question there? Yeah, so which. Which Batman? Batman for? movies? Um. I haven't seen a lot of like the more recent ones. I like the '60s Batman's and like. Good answer. That's a really. Good I don't want. <clears throat> Robin, can you reach my bat chakra? Pound? <clears throat> That's so good. Bam. Yeah. <coughs> Marvel movies, I do like them. I don't. I mean, I wouldn't go out and seek watching them. I had to watch a lot of them before Endgame came out because. Mimi was like, we're going to fast track on all the <laughs> ones that are important. We're only going to watch the ones that are important so we can keep up. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. Because I remember Mimi calling me and asking for uh... Have I seen the Dark Knight? <clears throat> That's the one with Heath Ledger's Joker. Oh, the one where... Let me tell you how I got my smile. Is that, the one so where he, is that the one where the scene where he does like he's in a nurse costume and the thing's yeah. supposed to blow up? I haven't seen that one. That's not bad. Uh, Christian Bale's wor Batman's the worst part of the film. Okay. Have you seen Batman Begins? No, it's the same guy. You probably haven't seen any of the Christian Bale's. No, definitely not. <clears throat> I also like Guardians of the Galaxy. They're fun films. Yeah. I wasn't... I mean, okay, here's the thing. I don't... This is going to be really controversial. <laughs> I'm going to put that out there. I don't like Chris Pratt. <gasps> uh, as a person, he's... Yeah, he's a bit of a... Yeah, that's, I don't really like Chris Pratt. His acting is pretty, like, he's a pretty good actor. He's, like, funny when he acts and stuff. I don't like him as a person, and it kind of makes it hard to watch the stuff he's in, because I cannot, I cannot look at him without thinking about him. You might be what? Doing to the what? The emoji? What emoji? Oh, no, you're not like me, then, I guess. Have you seen any Christopher Nolan movies at all? Have I? Uh, well, the Christopher Nolan movies I got are all on 4K. Uh, I got the Dark Knight ones. I got uh, I got Interstellar, uh, Dunkirk, Inception. Have you seen Inception? That's a really good film. I <clears throat> uh, he also did like uh, what's the one about the magicians again? That's Prestige, right? I'm not going to get too much into it, but someone did ask, like, did Chris Pratt do something? Mm, he's, it's just, he, he's associated with some stuff that doesn't really... That's kind of sketchy. ...with, like, yeah. we don't like personal agenda, if that makes Beliefs, sense. I guess? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we don't like to talk too much about, like, what's the word? Serious stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> what actors do I think are not likable? Um... Oh, what's that girl who's like really popular? Um, <laughs> in she the Hunger Games. Oh, you mean what? You don't like her? No, she's also. Oh, the same church thingy. No, like or? she's like she's disrespectful. Oh, I, I, I know what you're talking about, but I, I don't know her. I didn't she's know like she was. Kind of disrespectful, not really. <coughs> she's the kind of she's the kind of person that like I get the vibe from. Is her she a that, Karen? No, that yeah. she she does the things where like she Let me like speak your magic. she's making these jokes. Jennifer Lawrence. She's making Thanks. these, Thanks, Brian. these jokes and stuff that like she thinks are funny, but really like to other people they're not. Kind of cringeworthy. Not cringeworthy, like they're kind of mean. Like a guy who's like he thinks he's the funny guy, but he's actually just mean. Like Tosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I hate Tosh. The the you want to know comedian guys? I hate Tosh. <clears throat> so I guess there are people that I don't like. Yeah, there are actors. This is like the controversial yeah, part yeah. near the end. Like, okay, we're getting to the, we're getting deep here. I like Christian Bale, uh, but uh, he's he's another guy. It's kind of a he can be jerky on on set type of thing. Uh, you know, hear him like yelling at people and stuff like that. Do I like Wes Anderson? I actually do. I do like Wes Anderson films. It's it's such a uh, it's such a stereotype. Uh, you know, <laughs> I look like the type of person that's gonna like Wes Anderson film. Uh, though I, I I'll be honest, Wes Anderson. Uh, yes, he's got a. He's got a formula, and sometimes I feel Wes Anderson's films are kind of just quirky for being quirky. Yeah, I know you don't like him, Daz. Uh, and I can't watch everything Wes Anderson, but uh, every once in a while I, I can watch some things. Uh, but I completely get people not liking Wes Anderson. 
I really get it. <laughs> uh, like I get people's love of Wes Anderson. I also get people that don't like him at all. So I understand. You seen Wes Anderson? Maybe. Like you did like Owen Wilson was in a lot of his films. Oh. But uh, it's. I, th I feel like I've seen maybe one. Grand Budapest Hotel is alright. Uh, I, that was that was pretty. That was that was okay. I like the I like one that a lot of people don't like, and it's the I got a bit the brothers that are going on that trip, and I can't remember name for right now. I don't really know anything about Christian Bale, but all I remember <clears throat> is that song. Does anyone remember when that song came out? The actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's, so the guy who did that had like a follow up song. Darjeeling Lim, thank you. With, with um with Christian Bale, like Christian Bale's at your party. That's the only thing I know about Christian Bale. <laughs> uh, I remember him, like, he, he started back in, like, early days. He was, like, a kid actor, too. Like, in, Oh, really? Yeah. Because he worked on Disney and all this stuff, right? Really? Like, Newsies and that, too. <clears throat> do I like Paul Thomas Anderson? You know, do you know, Devin, I'll be honest with you, there's an, an, an adult actor by the name of Paul Anderson. <clears throat> and uh, when I was asked that before, I, I got, I actually confused him. Like, do I like, <laughs> do I like the, this adult actor? Uh, I guess. Uh, but yes, I do like Paul Thomas Anderson. Mm. He just said there will be blood. So that almost seems like a threat, but I know the movie. <laughs> if you don't like it, there will be blood. <clears throat> Dang, he's still streaming. Since Superman's back, they already finished. <laughs> yeah, we're actually kind of headed out now. Yeah, we're headed out. Now. <clears throat> but we're doing like a whole Q and A type of thing, mm -hmm. which was fun. Yeah, I like Q and A's. Boogie Nights is my is probably my favorite. Uh, I love Boogie Nights. Uh, I like, like I, I've said before, and I I do have an interest in that time early time period. Of adult cinema actually the history behind it you know i do actually yeah <clears throat> and so boogie nights actually kind of deals with that a bit and it and deals with the whole like uh kind of lightly deals with uh some of the stuff that would, would go on like and there's that movie too that val kilmer did where he kind of where he plays uh john holmes um i'm not sure if he, he actually is called john holmes or if he's just playing that there's a documentary if you get the right edition of it do I like Ron Jeremy, the Hedgehog? Ah, he's a unique dude. <laughs> not sure if I like him. I don't think we, I, don't, I would not know if Wes likes adult cinema. I, I don't ask him that stuff. So. You think the redhead girl, Karen Gillum, is who you're talking about? And, and yes, Karen Gillum is super sexy. I like the Rocky actor in Tango Cash. Her name is Terry Hatcher. She was in a show called Desperate Housewives, and she was in a Superman series called Los and Clark: The New Adventures of Superman, which is worth checking out. Dem Demolishman's fun. It gets it gets ra ragged down, but it's a fun film. Are you ready to, just, to do our our outro? We're gonna do our outro. Yes, we're gonna do it. Need to watch the Deuce. I, I I do need to watch the Deuce. Actually, I've been wanting to see that. I am Aaron. This is my son Wes. Hello. This is the movie library. We've done a long one. We've done like a Wes Anderson length movie, a <laughs> uh, version of this. You are the cult of cinema. I love this press wise. You guys rock. Thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, I'm trying to get in as much like filming with Wes as possible. Mm -hmm. Wes, unfortunately, is here only till Thursday morning. Yeah. So we're going to try and do some more of this stuff. So we will see you soon. Have a great evening there. And uh, like, share, subscribe. And if you like this a lot, you can check out my Patreon and all that stuff. Link will be probably there eventually when I think about it. <laughs> Have a great night. It is time for tea. Criterion tomorrow? I'll think about it. <laughs>